Hey everyone, it's Pixel Tricks. Welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Strap in tight. Gonna be here for a while. <laughs> yeah, this next area really opens up and uh, offers a lot of content. So I thought we would have a nice chill video here today and just get through a couple of these side quests. I totally forgot to pick this one up as well. I want to give you a little something to say thanks. On the way back from Colony 6, I found something and hid it. I've been planning to go and get it some time. I'll tell you where it is. You can go and get it if you're interested. What do you think it is? Could you go into more detail? Keep it a secret. I bet you can't wait to dig it up and see. Pretty sure it'll come in handy. Are you sure? If you went so far as to hide it, it must be quite important. But I want you to have it. I'd feel better if I knew someone was putting it to good use. It's hidden in the ground on the left. Just as you leave this cave, you'll be able to find it if you look hard enough. No problem. Leave it to me. Yeah, this is definitely a quest that's worth picking up along the way because it's pretty much just a free item. It becomes available to you after you do the quest in which you like find that guy's friend. But yeah, I would have totally spaced on that quest if I wasn't reminded of it, so thanks for that. There's so many quests. There actually is a quest back at Colony 9 that we can pick up as well. The way that you get it is you talk to some people at night and then it should just appear. I thought we did and it didn't show up. It might only appear like as you reach a certain point in the story. But yeah, we will be heading back to Colony 9 and doing that a little bit later on. For now, I thought we'd um just get into the new area and show it off. It's so sick, dude. It's at this point where the game really opens up and gives you a lot of stuff to do. But yeah, uh, that's right, that reminds me. I didn't set this last time. This is Sword Drive, an extremely powerful single strike attack that comes out really, really fast and does so much damage. Yeah, look at that, minimum 1,000 damage. It's crazy. I like it a lot better than Guard Shift. Like he just can't move for 12 seconds, that's ridiculous. I know he's blocking the whole time. It, I feel like it's way too situational to be good. Yeah, and Sword Drive is so useful for, like, chain attacks and stuff, too. Uh, I think we'll level up Worse Wing first, though. I've come to really like this move. Yeah, you use this in a group of two or more, and your talent gauge is pretty much instantly restored. Because for every hit that you land with Worse Wing, it'll restore your talent gauge slightly. So, yeah, I really like this move. Okay, so we are finally making our way out of Tefer Cave. No matter how many times I see this, I never get used to it. On the other side of those clouds. Yep. It's our enemy. Maconis. Mm. Our enemy.
If we just came up the Bionis Shin, then this must be its kneecap, right? Yep. Which means Colony 6 is up ahead. Looks like we can climb up there. Great. I love a good climb. Wow, that cutscene really translated well, huh? That looks so cool. Yeah, look at this place, dude. Wow. Yeah, like I was saying, we're on the, uh, Bionis for this game. Isn't that crazy? These two titans, it's so imaginative. Before we head to the next area, we're actually going to see some of the newest content that they added into the definitive version. Yeah, they really went above and beyond, man. The quest tracker, the updated visuals, this new thing we're about to see. Hey, Ryan, there's something here. Say, Shulk, what do you think this is? Hmm, I have no idea. All right, I'll just poke it and see what happens. Hold on now. We don't know what it'll do. It could be dangerous. <laughs> it's definitely something Ryan would do. Look at this, it's like a fortress in the sky. A mysterious power pushes you back. Yeah, look at this. Greetings. Arc Sage been waiting. With the limitless powers of Arc Sage, Arc Sage has pre-saged friends coming. Also pre-saged questions friends ask. What is place? Who you? It not so. This place like Bionis, but not. Seem familiar, but not actually. It is a place that connects to past futures. Nopon Arxage is great Nopon, who through endless training and many times in places became sagiest of sages. Since friends come here, that must mean friends want to become disciples, no backsies. So friends complete challenges with much success, Arxage give reward. Good thing Arc Sage transcend greed for material possessions, otherwise would not part with such priceless treasures. Will be your pupils. Everything happens as Nopon Arc Sage has foreseen. Incidentally, by the by, if friends make new friends, also who want to become follower, please to bring along. Arc Sage will happily prepare special new challenges and rewards. What friends feel like tackling today? Yeah, okay, so this Nopon Arc Sage offers us time trials. They're exactly what you would think they would be. Yeah, we just have to defeat some enemies in a certain amount of time. There are two separate modes. There is free and restricted. In the free mode, you are able to tackle it at any level with any party, I believe. In restricted mode, you are leveled up or down depending on the level of the challenge. And you are forced into a certain group and forced to play a certain character. The no punks are so actually crazy in this game. Okay, let's war swing here. Yeah, see the talent gauge got filled up so fast from that. So good. Okay, yeah, this is Sword Drive. Yeah, look at that. It's so much damage. Like, these guys have a lot of defense, too. Nice. And with Hammer Beat. It doesn't look like our arts are leveled up, huh? Maybe? I, I don't really know how that works, to be perfectly honest. Okay, that's the first wave. Wave two, baby Armu. Nice. Is it worth Sween? Taunt you? Yeah, let's hold on to this for now, huh? Until Shulk gets aggro again. Okay, top of this. Oh, uh, no, I think I'm dazed. Oh, no, it just knocked me over. 
All right, let's go ahead and click engage. Oh, we got a chain attack. Okay, let's activate this. Shulk is in perfect position. Hit him with sword drive. Backslash. Nice, 5,000 damage. Okay, the final wave. Let's click rage and follow up with aura burst. Topple you. We got some wood bunnets here. Oh, they're high level too. Did he resist the topple? Yeah, it also kind of like pushes them back. I don't know if I like that too much. But it really does add to the move and it makes it like feel like it has a lot of impact to it, huh? Yeah. I have nothing to taunt this guy with. Okay, let's try to get this guy off Shulk. <laughs> yeah, I love seeing the Monado in action. <laughs> uh, okay. Aw, oh, this is wasting my timer. He's about to go down, game. <laughs> Taunt him just in case. And we got a chain attack. Nice, perfect. Okay, so we got it. <laughs> Alright, that wasn't too bad. It was the very first trial, after all. Okay. We got the full set of exotic gear. Pretty cool. Let's uh, let's see how that looks. I believe this is a theme for Ryan. This is how he looks right now. Mm, the resort set. Is what it's called. <laughs> it's just like a gold watch. <laughs> yeah. I think they're all just a bunch of uh, joke costumes, I'm pretty sure. Dude, that looks dope. Where'd I get this? <laughs> I don't know. I do like the glasses, huh? I don't want to take too much out of the cutscenes. Yeah, uh, let's, um... How about Colony Type 3, huh? Yeah. Sounds cool. We'll, we'll keep the glasses on him. I think that's pretty cool, actually. Oh, yeah, check that out. Okay, yeah, so that went well. I think if you get anything under an A, you don't get the item. Shulk has a bucket on his head. But yeah, I'm not sure if I'll be showing off every single trial. It is kind of fun, the restricted theme. Like, you know, there's a... Uh, it, it could put you into situations where you play a character that you don't normally play. I think most people who first play this game only play Shulk. And I understand it, you know. A lot of people know Xenoblade Chronicles just from, like, Smash. And they're like, oh, I want to play Shulk, but... Um, yeah, this is, I think, a, a great addition to uh, incentivize people to try other characters because there is a lot of fun to be had uh, for playing everyone. Right here, we have some wandering traders that have some quests for us. Wow, it's rare to bump into anyone else in this area. Look like you can handle yourself. Do you think you could take out a couple of Lek Ardun for us? They're always attacking us for no reason. I hate them, Thines. Thanks. I appreciate it. Like Ardon, live in Gower Plain. Yeah, this guy has a whole bunch of quests for us. Gower Plain is massive. A lot of Thines live there, including monsters that like to make trouble. Let down your guard for a second, they'll trash your stock. Those Maker Bunnets are causing utter chaos. Can you take a few of them out for us? Thank you so much. I know I can rely on you again in the future. Good day. Have you ever seen a Fields Ponyo? They're quick on their feet and as aggressive as they come. They're a constant hassle for travelers like us. Can you sort them out? Thanks a lot. It's a relief to not have to worry about those themes anymore. Good day. I have already asked you to do three favors for me. Sorry to ask, but I just need your help one last time. Do you think you could help us out by getting rid of some leg volu? 
The constant howling really puts us on edge when we're trying to rest. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. You can find Leg Voluf all over Gower Plain at night. They might have a lair somewhere. Fantastic. Yeah, and we also have a wandering trader here. I don't think he really has much to uh, sell us, but I did want to get rid of some of these extra things that we have here. I always keep Hiora's knives just because, even though they're really uh, not much of a use to us at all at this point. Yeah, I guess we can um, sort this out later, but I don't think he really has much for us uh, currently. So yeah, let's uh, head out and check this place out, man. Let me introduce you all to Gower Plains. something good it's hardly a good spot for a barbecue come on let's take a look yeah right there they actually introduce you to uh ether based enemies it's kind of a weird place right yeah gower plains everyone it's just like the stage in smash brothers isn't that cool one of the enemies we're looking for for the quest. Let's try to hold our aggro here. Got the topple, backslash him, shadow eye out. Yeah, and check it out. There's uh, the first one. We only have to take down two like Ardons. Yeah, the music here is so dope too. I think that's another one right there. Got to be really careful in the Gower Plains. <laughs> There's a lot of really strong enemies, and it's really easy to. Uh, Get caught off guard. Yeah. Fatal lunge. Yeah, you see, sword drive will, like, push the enemy back. <laughs> Mega voice crack. I'm going through puberty. Uh, it was my birthday the other day. I just turned 16. Plus 15. Got a smelly hide. Yeah, just look at that. Look at that. That is sick, dude. That's so cool. Jabu's Rock Rest Area, everyone. Who's Jabu? Since in already. Where's that giant monkey that always bodies me? We'll run into him eventually. That thing is a nightmare. Someone's left a buggy out here. That's strange. Who would just abandon a buggy in this place? And it's pretty new. Is it brand new? Not brand new, but it's in very good condition. You wouldn't just abandon it. So, what did happen to the driver? There's a boy. He's being attacked by monsters. You saw it happening? Where? I don't know. But it was near some water. Near water? But what made you have a vision all of a sudden? Maybe it was triggered by touching the buggy. Well, we'd better find him. Let's search everywhere around here where there's water. Okay. Yeah, it's being attacked by those things we just took out. Story memo. Right here. Dude, I'm so paranoid about the monkey. <laughs> there he is. Increase render distance, everyone. <laughs> yeah, bef before the enemies would pop in and you would like run into this thing in the original, he would just show up out of nowhere in one shot. That's like a level 70 giant monkey. We also have some uh, enemies here. For a quest, but we're actually going to be holding off on that for now. We're actually going to be pushing the story forward a little bit. But yeah, the uh, 
This place looks great. Unfortunately, the render distance for the grass is a little short. Everything else? Like, damn, that looks so sick, dude. Shulk, over there! You all right, kid? Who are you? That can wait. Go! Get out of here. Leave these guys to us. Uh, okay. Let's do this. Ready when you are. This is such an underrated song. This song is such a baner, dude. Okay, let's inflict slow on this. The physical defense going on here. Got the topple. Let's backslash and let's hold on to that for now. Actually, huh? Need to heal. Oh damn! That man ran through Ryan. Okay, let's finish this thing off. Dude, this song is so dope. <laughs> it gets me so hyped. Okay. Oh no. Gotta encourage Ryan. You see how he's like sad in the uh, portrait? He's body blocking Ryan. Okay, so now he's reset to neutral. He's been encouraged. Let's go ahead and get this aggro off of us if we can. Actually, we're uh, just dodge taking very well, huh? Okay, no sweat. Okay, it should work now. Great! You saved my skin. My buggy short-circuited. And then there were those monsters and... Well, thanks. I fixed the circuit, but it's out of ether. Change the cylinder and it will be as good as new. I think it's time for the introductions. I'm Ryan. He's Shulk. Pleased to meet you. Oh, hi. I'm Juju. Um... Where are you two heading? If you've got time, you should come back to our camp. Your camp? Yeah. It's not far. How about it? Let's take him up on the offer. I'm surprised there's a Homs camp here. But they might have some information. I suppose. Juju, can you tell us how to get there? Sure. If you go back to the oasis, you should see a tall stone post. Head there first. Then what? There's a small path in the woods next to the stone post. Just follow it down to our camp. Got it. Now, let's make a move. Juju is our first guest character. So he will be with us in the story, but um, he won't like appear in combat or anything like that. We get to hear the Gower Plain theme at night. Oh, it's beautiful. I love, I love all the new battle renditions here. They're quite nice. But yeah, we got some enemies requests here. But again, we are going to be holding off on that for now. Should have grabbed some of these if we can. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> I hope he's not still going. Yeah, okay, so we can get visions of items that we need in the future. Uh, when we, like, pick them up and stuff. That's the third Moth Crawler. Me and Ryan always used to play with these when we were little. Yeah, this is a hint that, like, maybe you should hold on to these. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> Alright, everyone, meet Territorial Rot Bart. <laughs> he's taken many a life in Gower Plain. <laughs> Definitely a lot of mine. You know, Shulk out here saving kids, fixing buggies. He's honestly such a good protagonist, dude. He's intelligent, but he isn't overconfident. He's kind, but he sticks up for himself. He's a scientist, engineer, mechanic, battle tactician. It's rare to see so many amazing traits without a lot of drawbacks in a character, you know? He, like, he really is so dope. Okay, this is Camus Guidepost. Oh, check it out. We got our first thunderstorm. Here in Gower Plain, how wonderful. And we got another vision too. That's the fourth Sour Gooseberry. I think Ewen needs these. We better take them to him. 
Whoa, what was that? <laughs> Vision, please. Oh, I think it's because it's thunderstorming. That must be it. And we got some antles here. Some basin antles. Oh, you can hear their little, like, legs in the ground. Hey, check it out. We got a wandering person here. A refugee. So glad young Juju is safe. Our camp is by the lake south of here. You can rest there. This sign. <laughs> we got some more uh, quests that we can pick up from this guy right here. Let's go ahead and grab some of these. That's our first Aqua Nebula. It's kind of ether based enemy. Hey, I want to tell you something. I saw a huge shadow on the plane during a thunderstorm one day. And then it walked towards Ragwool Lake. If it was a monster, we don't stand a chance. Uh, can you kill it for us? Thank you for helping us. I've never seen a monster that big before. Be careful. No problem, leave it to me. That's right, we can handle it. Yeah, that particular monster will only appear during the thunderstorms such as these. These are actually really rare to come across, so I'm actually kind of bummed it's happening now. As opposed to when I want it to happen, because it's rare for a thunderstorm to show up. Can I ask for your help again? I had to go do something at Sky Stage a little while ago. When I got there, there was a monster running Rampage. I couldn't do what I needed to. I hate to have to ask, but could you sort out that monster for me? Thank you ever so much. You've made me so happy. I can't wait to pick the vegetables that grow there. <laughs> ever so much. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, those are two unique monsters that uh, we are pretty much going to go straight for after this little theme here. So they remain a challenge before we do any of the other quests and start leveling up, right? Okay, this is the refugee camp. Juju! Oh. Where have you been? <sighs> Don't tell me you were... I've told you a thousand times. We're not ready to leave the camp yet. But I thought... Juju! Sorry, Sharla. That gear. You must be survivors from the Defense Force. Is Colony 6 okay? Did Gaddo make it? Hold on. What are you talking about? We've... we've come from Colony 9. Colony 9? They saved me from some monsters. This is Ryan and Shulk. Oh, so you're not from Colony 6. Thank you for helping, Juju. I'm his sister, Sharla. I told them they could rest here, with us. Did you now? Well, all right. I suppose that's only fair. Did something happen to Colony 6? Actually, we're heading there ourselves. Colony 6 has been... our home. It's been occupied by the Mekong. No. I'll tell you about it inside. Follow me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. about. To make a day, huh? Ah, oh, the sign. Our home, Colony 6, was attacked by the Mekon. Will you listen to what I have to say? We had already fought off the Mekon a year ago. At the Battle of Sword Valley? It left us with a false sense of security. The Colony 6 Defense Force didn't even notice the approaching Mekon. By the time the air raid siren sounded, a swarm of Mekon had blackened the sky. They ate people and burned our buildings. Me and Juju dedicated ourselves to evacuating the children and elderly.
I don't know what happened next. It's just like what happened to Colony 9. They attacked your colony as well. Yes. It's good that you managed to evacuate so many. We have a Tharon, the Colonel, to thank for that. Him and Gaddo. This Gaddo? He would have been my husband by now, if not for all this. <laughs> Cheer up, you two. Uh... We can't lose hope just yet. I'm certain Gaddo and the other soldiers are alive. They're still fighting. I can feel it. Um... Hmm? You're on your way to Colony 6, right? You bet. We're up for some revenge. I bet we can even get your colony back. There you go, showing off again. If anyone can do it, it's you two. Could... Um... Uh, could you take me with you to the colony? Juju! The people here need us! How many times do I have to tell you? But you heard! The Mechon attacked Colony 9! That means a load of them have left Colony 6 already! It has to! <sighs> Even if that's true... No, especially if it's true... We cannot expose the camp to any more danger! So... You don't care what happens to the people in the colony? How can you be so heartless? Are you that scared of the Mechon? Oi, kid! Ryan! You ought to know how Sharla feels. Watch your mouth and have some respect. Yeah, I'll go and make dinner. Maybe I was too hard on him. Shulk? Ryan, you really remind me of Gaddo when you get angry. I, I do? Gaddo's taken care of us ever since we were young. I always saw him as a big brother, really, but he was more of a father to Juju. He'd call him kid whenever he told him off, just like you did. I don't think I'm ready to be someone's old man just yet. Wait, Shulk. Did it happen again? Yeah. You had another vision. Oh, no! No! Juju! <sighs> the buggy's gone! He's going to Colony 6 on his own! <sighs> Stupid kid! We have to hurry. Something bad's gonna happen. What did you see? A deep valley. Everything's engulfed in flames. There's a black shadow. It kills Juju. Is it the Mechon with the metal face? Yeah. Where does it happen? Is it near Colony 6? I'm not sure. I think so. Let's get after him, Shulk. Hold on a second. What was all that about? I know you won't believe this. But Shulk can see the future. The future? That's not possible. That's what I thought, too. I still can't explain this, but that vision I had will come true unless we stop it. So you're telling me Juju's in danger? Believe it or don't believe it, that's your call. But I wouldn't be standing here if it weren't for Shulk's visions. Juju... Okay, I can't say I believe you, but what have I got to lose? I like the way you think. Sharla, you're... What? No, nothing. Oh. What are you doing? Let's go and find Juju. When you talk like that, you sound just like Gaddo. That's how I know it's not worth arguing. 
What am I? Some kind of Gatto substitute? <laughs> Okay, everyone, meet Sharla, the best healer in the game, and one of my personal favorites to play. Yeah, I think she's really cool. Okay, let's go on a rundown of her arts really fast. Sharla's talent art is known as Cool Off. The thing about Sharla is the more that you use her arts, the harder her rifle will become. If you don't use Cool Off before the talent gauge fills up, Sharla will be unable to act for a long period of time while she fixes her rifle. The way this system works is after you use a couple arts, you use Cool Off yourself to drastically decrease the amount of time in which Sharla is unable to act. It's about keeping your eye on the talent gauge before it gets full. Heal Bullet is what Sharla is all about. You shoot your teammates with ether and they feel better. This is arguably Charlotte's most important talent. Shield Bullet will target an individual ally or yourself and create a barrier that absorbs a said amount of damage. Moving on to Heal Blast. This will heal a larger amount than Heal Bullet. The thing is, it has a 90 second cooldown and within that time frame, you could have already used two Heal Bullets and that would add up to heal more than one Heal Blast. It's not an entirely useless move, it's somewhat situational. This move does fill up the talent gauge 20%, which is bad for Sharla, as we just said. So you want to pick your spots when you use it. Tranquilizer will put an enemy to sleep for a set amount of time. Metal Blast inflicts break and can pierce multiple enemies at a time. This move also has a high chance of critting flying enemies. Thunder Bullet is an ether based attack that will hit two times and also has a higher chance to crit flying enemies. And last but not least, Cure Bullet. This will remove any debuffs on an individual target and also grant them immunity to debuffs for a set amount of time. It's a very good art that gets somewhat outclassed by a version of which you learn later on that has an AoE attack that hits multiple targets. Here's how I like to organize Charlotte right here. Kind of like this. Okay, so we got access to Charlotte. Let's level up her heal bullet and make it heal a little more and turn down the cooldown a little bit. I also want to level up shield bullet as well and thunder bullet so it does a little bit more damage. Charlotte also has a few open slots in her gear as well. So let's go ahead and pop that Ether 2 gem. Uh, on one of them. I've had this for a while. I also think I have a pretty good piece of armor for Sharla. I forget exactly what it is. Yeah, we'll give her HP up for now. It's really all I have currently. I do want to go back to Colony 9 and do some gem crafting, but we'll do that later on. Yeah, the Aether Up 2 gem, right? Right. Just run through her like default armor. Yeah, I think that'll be good for now. Yeah. Her skill tree starts with uh, Devotion here. I like to level up Perseverance. The first one will increase her physical defense, which is really good for like skill linking to your, to like Ryan. Her second one is Ether Expansion. This is a really great thing that would just give her more Ether, which is her most important stat. Yeah, yeah Charlotte is really cool. When I play games that have a structure where there's a DPS, a tank, and a healer, I always take on the uh, support role of some kind. Sometimes take, but most of the time, I like to heal in games like this. You know, in World of Warcraft, I was a resto druid. In Overwatch, I like to play as Mercy. So yeah, I just like to fit that role uh, when I play games like this. Yeah, she's just really cool. She's a strong woman to power. I was uh, raised by women, so I have a lot of respect for them. And yeah, Charlotte, don't take no shit from no one. You know what, come to think of it, I'm actually going to put this quick step gem off Shulk. Give it to Charlotte, since we are going to be playing as her. Let's give my boy Shulk some nice. Let's give him some nice. Actually, we'll give you this. 
Okay. Okay, there are a lot of quests here. <laughs> like, a lot of quests here, bro. Okay, oh, look at you. It was Satata who designed and built Juju's buggy. But Satata feel bad for getting Juju hurt by giving him buggy. So it's okay, Satata. I got something to tell you want to hear. There's an everlasting ether deposit not far from here. Do you know about it? I'm here to listen. Yeah, what's the story? Location's a secret, but it's your lucky day I'm going to tell you. Sure you're not having a laugh with us. Because I ain't buying it. it. Sounds too good to be true. You don't have to believe me. Ain't no skin off my back. It's you who will be losing out. Suppose it can't hurt to go take a look. But I smell a rat. So what's going to be? You going or not? Just make up your mind. So you want to go, yeah? All white? I'll tell you where it is. Go out the camp, go along the cliffs on the right, and then in the cave. Good luck. Count on us, we'll get it done. That's right, leave it to us. If you want to build affinity between party members, then I believe if you have the character as the leader, they will build more affinity. I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Could you find something for my little sister to play with? There aren't many toys here and I don't know what to do. Thank you. I knew you people would help out. Okay, so we got to get some moth crawlers. It's one of the things we picked up earlier. What's this man doing here? Doing his warm-up stretches. Who's this? My grandmother used to take me to a place filled with fireflies. Now that place is full of monsters. Do you think you could get rid of the monsters for us? You're really going to do it. I'm so grateful. Yeah, some of these quests are really nice, huh? Yeah. I just getting some for the kids to play with. Our home just got t taken over by the McConnus. Don't really have much to do. Is there anything in here we could do? Oh yeah, check it out. We got another trial here. Let's uh, grab some of these first. Me. Excuse me. Do you have a minute to talk? Do you know Palma, the Nopon boy? He's been inconsolable ever since the day Colony 6 was attacked. You see, he lost both his parents in the attack. So I want to do something for him. He really likes reading stories and I want to give him a book. My creative skills start and end at drawing and painting pictures. However, Elwyn, who fled here with us, is a fantastic storyteller. I was thinking of asking him to write the book for me. But it's not that easy for me to ask him myself. How worrying. Yeah, it does sound quite bad. I just want everyone to feel better. Although cheering Ellen up is going to be a lot more difficult. I won't lie by saying I understand what the kid's going through. But it just ain't right when a little kid is as sad as he is. I agree. Palma and everyone else. Then you're looking at the best people for the job. We, of all people, know what it's like to have a home demolished. So, you'll talk to Edwin for me. Please take your time, don't rush on my account. So, you'll help me. First, let Edwin know I like him to help with writing the book. Then we'll take it from there. Oh, it's going to be so good if he agrees. You can count on us, we'll get it done. Of all the people here, I am the least worthy of judging someone. But that Ernest is too much. He constantly twists the truth. He wasn't always like this. Maybe something happened to him. Yeah, it's a guy we accepted who was talking about the ether deposits. You want to make a picture book for Palma. And you want me to write the story for it. What makes you think I'd want to get involved in any of that? I'm not an author anymore. I'm nothing. Decide that I'm never writing ever again. You don't give up, do ya? I'll tell you what, if you want me to do this, I'll need something first. I need some Ponyo neck meat. The liquid collected from that meat makes the finest ink. You'll never find any though. Just you try, go on. 
Just don't come crying when you get a kick in the backside. Alright, so we gotta take care of those. It's Palma. Yawn. Palma, no want to sleep. Palma sleep, Palma see bad dream again. That's so sad. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello. I lost my medicine supply as I fled Colony 6. My ailment has haunted me for years, but now it's worse than ever. It's awful. Well, we have a shop here. Uh, and we got some books that we could buy. Let's go ahead and get all of these. I don't think I can afford them all. Show bullet, yes. Yeah, we'll just pick them up for now. Yeah, I decided I'm going to buy every book that I come across from now on, just so I don't have to worry about it. But yeah, we will need more money. I used to run a chemist in Colony 6, you know. So happy to be able to use the skills here. Hmm. Who are you? Kiroki have bust up with friends. Kiroki broke friend's favorite toy. Oh. That's very sad. We have a heart to heart here. Pretty sure we are unable to access it quite yet. There's this way I like, but I'm not telling you his name. Why? Because it's a secret. Hmm. I thought the chart would tell me. I thought the chart would narc her out. You see that, like, a uh, drone? That was, like, flying that narked us out? <laughs> as soon as Ryan and Shulk got there. Like, at a Zephyr cave. What is it? The other day, I went for a walk near Ragwool Bridge. I thought there wouldn't be many monsters there, you see. But I ended up getting attacked. In my haste to escape, I dropped my gift my boyfriend gave me. Will you find it for me? Thank you. I was ready to go searching for it myself after what happened. I really appreciate this. And we have another quest right here. Greetings. There are monsters in my favorite place. I saw them when I went to gather food near Colony 6. I want you to get rid of them. I was too scared to tell anyone. Thank you for doing this. Soon I, I be able to go gathering food again. Oh, we have some more. Hello. Take care if you need to go outside the camp. Run away as soon as you see any really strong looking monsters. It'd be best to take the long way around just to avoid them. I saw loads of different turkin the other day. There was a really huge one too. Can you get rid of it for us? It's too scary. It was heading in the direction of the turkin headquarters. I always worried they'll attack. Only slept six hours last night. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, that's right, the turkin. So that's all the quests. In the daytime. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. Like I was saying. Uh, okay, so we got um, this guy right here. This girl right here. After beating at the camp for so long, everyone looks tired. I want to prepare some decent food to lift people's spirits, but I lack the right ingredients. Can you get them for me? Thank you. I'll organize my pots and pans. Be careful out there. There's a sapling that brings good luck to wh whoever touches it. At least that's the rumor anyway. really want to get my hands on one of those saplings. Thank you so much. I hope this can bring even a little bit of happiness to the camp. Then I'll be happy too. Thank you so much for helping. Fantastic, dude. Okay. Whoa, that girl dropped. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Sir? Yes? Some friends gave me a precious item to mine, but I've lost it. I'm not strong enough to go out looking for it. I'm sorry to ask this, but could you find it for me? I shouldn't have taken it out on a windy day. The wind blew it over to the west. I hope it didn't fall on the far side of the cliffs. Heart to heart here? We got heart to hearts all over the place. Who's this? Couldn't have come at a better time. We hunt our clothes to dry outside the camp, but they've been stolen. How worrying. 
Yeah, it does sound quite bad. We don't have that many clothes, so this really puts us in quite an awkward position. But I think I know who the culprits are. You know who did it. Then why not send out a band of young people to get them? It's mostly just oldies and children here. There are some young adults, but they're all cowards and weaklings. It was the Turkin who stole them. They have no need for clothes, but they're clever, you see. They said traps for homs who go trying to get their back their clothes. Can you go get our clothes back? You're a decent bunch of people. You take care, all right? Their base is northwest of here. You can count on us. We'll get it done. That's right. Leave it to us. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'll never get tired of that sound clip. We escaped with nothing but the clothes on our back. It's unhygienic to be without a change of clothes. Wish we could make ourselves some new ones. Sorry about this. Of course, if... I was a little younger, I'd go do the job myself. I'll just wait here for your return. Oh, how nice. Oh, hello. A Nopon merchant was telling me there's this wisdom tooth thing that wards off sickness. I could do with one of those in a place like this. I really want one. Can you go and get one for me? You'll do it? I must say, you're really a great bunch of kids. Thank you so much. Who's this? The food here is pretty bad. It doesn't help to ease the stress. I know we can't afford to have luxuries during a crisis, but all I ask for is some nice ingredients to improve the taste. Can you go get some for us? You'll do it. That's fantastic. Some decent ingredients would improve the food no end. That would really lift our spirits. Oh, apparently we already had the required items. Okay, well, fantastic. Okay, I think that's just about everything in here. And the final quest, that didn't take too long. Nah, no, not at all. I actually enjoyed I think it was the music really helped. <laughs> Reading all these uh, little side quest things. Who's this? I kind of like it. I want to go see if there are any other survivors elsewhere. But there are too many mech on around. Will you get rid of them for us? Thank you. To be honest, I didn't think you would actually take on this task. Who's this? Let me ask you something. Have you ever seen a Turkin? They used to keep their distance from Hans, but recently they've been brazenly threatening people. I'm worried that someone will get hurt one of these days. You really are good people. This should make us feel a bit more secure. Yeah, as you can tell, the Turkin are quite the nuisance in these parts here. I suppose we could stop in for this, huh? See our first bit of combat with Sharla at the helm. This beautiful piano. So nice. I've been waiting. Our sage been waiting. What friends feel like tackling today? Some I don't think I mentioned. Did I mention this? Yeah, you get, like, um, money for doing this. It's like a form of currency for doing this. Oh, we get level 2 gems here. Cool. Camo mask. Goggles printed with a camo pattern. Ironically, they stand out in water. <laughs> no time for window shoppers, she says. Um, yeah, okay, we can do this. We're playing as Charlie. Ooh. Alrighty. Look at this. This is beautiful. Time to rumble. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid now. Leave it to Ryan. I'm ready. Okay, let's uh buff Ryan with shield here. Throw out a metal burst. Hopefully we'll get a topple out of that. I fire at this. Heal Shulk. Let's go ahead and use this opportunity to cool off our rifle. Okay, let's go ahead and heal again. Oh, something bad's about to happen. Kick Rush. Oh, he'll be fine. Whoa, a median. <laughs> a median. Nope on that. Oh, I think it died, that's why. We got aggro here. Fantastic job. Okay, these are flying enemies, so Charlotte's moves will crit against them, as you can see right here. 
Nice. Let's go ahead and cool off our rifle. Not much happening here uh, that we can really contribute to. That's like the perfect time when you want to uh, cool off your rifle, yeah. It's all about uh, managing the timing for that. Yeah, let's throw off this chain attack here. Okay, we will thunder bullets. It already has break on it. Let's go ahead. Ah, uh, I was hoping we'd go to Ryan first so we could get this topple. Okay, well done. Let's go ahead and metal burst. It's trying to get a little beat up by this crowd flyer here, but that's fine. Last group of enemies. Let's uh, shield Ryan. Go a little closer and fire off a thunder bullet. I need some health. Just bust this right here and start cooling down our rifle. Oh, Shulk's starting to feel it too. Let's get that debuff off Shulk. Oh, nice. Wonderful. Okay. Oh, dude, I got one health. <laughs> okay, let's heal Sharla. Perfect. <laughs> okay, front slash. Whoa, get him, Ryan. <laughs> get him. <laughs> let's, um, let's do this. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> Damn, what happened? One health, literally one health. Y you can't make this shit up. Okay, this is uh, another move that we haven't even learned yet, but since we're at level 25, we have it. It's pretty much like an AoE heal. We will be uh, learning it pretty soon, though. Let's go ahead and have them focus on them. Wonderful. Nice. Okay, we made a pretty tough one right there. That was fun, though. Something. Nice. Okay, we get the captain's gear, everyone. A little bit of uh, no pawn points or whatever you would call them. Uh, yeah, the currency that we can trade stuff. But yeah, we'll be uh, saving that. But yeah, that's pretty much a Charlotte R parade. So you want to pick your times to cool off your rifle and what have you. I'm pretty sure there's actually something for Charlotte. Oh, you have resort type 2, I see. I guess not the pants. Uh, the hat? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> is that like a pirate hat? I think? <laughs> it's funny. Kinda like this. Yeah, we got quick step on her. It is actual equipment that you can equip as well. What was it called? Uh, let's sort by most recent. Captain's Bangles. Has an empty slot. That is true. Keep that in mind. I just want to make sure that was exactly what it was. <laughs> um, Captain's... Yeah, it was. Okay, so it was a theme for Sharla. I don't think Shulk... Unfortunately for our good friend Shulk here... Uh, yeah, I see you can't equip either of those. Okay, well, yeah, we've accepted all the side quests here. Wonderful. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's change it to day now. Isn't this such a beautiful sign? It's very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, wait a minute. There's a quest here. I apparently missed one. Or maybe it was only available during this time frame. Uh. Oh, it's you. Well. Oh dear, what am I going to do? Oh, it's you. Listen, I need to talk to you about something. I was a chemist at Colony 6, and that's why I tend to the sick here. But I just realized Gorman's supply of medicine is running out. It's not looking like it'll last much longer. How worrying. Charlotte, do you think there's anything we can do? 
It must be fate. We should really try to help out. You look like a bright bunch, so I know you know what's at stake. Without ingredients to make his tonic, Gorman will be in trouble. I need glowing wisp fluid, but it can only be gathered at night. I need to stay with Gorman, so I can't go out and collect it myself. We can help you, just leave it to us. We're always happy to help someone who's in trouble. So you'll go and find the ingredients I need. It's not a very pleasant job, are you sure you don't mind? Thank you all so much. Make the necessary preparations. I'm counting on you. You can count on us. We'll get it done. Yeah, fantastic. I think there's actually some more quests that we get here too. Let's, let's just do a couple a couple nudges. I doubt it's like a, a full hour in between. Let's uh, let's see. Cause I I know there's more. I know for a fact there's more. Wait a minute. Is that a thunderstorm? We need the thunderstorm. Maybe we have to complete some quests first before they show up. I think so, because I know for a fact there are more. Yeah. There was a thing involving the little Nopon boy that we had to do. Yeah, I'm sure we'll have to do some stuff first. Alright, cool. Let's go and start some quests here. We need to uh, change the time of day. The first thing we are going to do is hope we get a thunderstorm <laughs> along the way here. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go to our quest log and start tracking. I think it's like, um, oh yeah, I haven't even mentioned, um, you see these clocks. That's to tell you that if you don't do these quests right away, then they'll go away. You won't ever be able to do them. So yeah, these are timed quests. Pretty much number one priority here. It's not timed in the sense that you have to do it in a certain time frame. It's like if you progress the story further along enough, then you won't be able to complete the quest, is what I mean. If that makes sense. I'm looking for the, uh, the really strong monsters. White Eduardo. Yeah, that's the rain one. Uh, challenge 2 part 1. Yeah, I think it's actually this one, I'm pretty sure. Let's set that one as active and start making our way through the Gower Plains. Yeah, wonderful. I'm sure we'll see a bunch of stuff along the way that we need as well. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I might as well just change it tonight. Yeah, those, uh, those Wisp fluids are really, really annoying to get. Yeah, these things. Let's get this party started, says Sharla. Small insect like yeah, dude, that drop is so rare. <laughs> it's so annoying. Let's get this party started. Something cool about Sharla's talent gauge mechanic. You don't have to do it in between fights. So like once the fight ends, it will auto renew. So you don't have to cool off afterwards. Oh, it's a rare chest. So I think that's a guaranteed quest item. <laughs> yeah, it's going to take a while. <laughs> that's quite all right. We have some antles here. Get this party started. Don't want to do too many quests here. Cool off here. I love their accents. Wonderful. Uh, okay. Oh, we got some new pants. Nice. Shola, do you know which way Juju went? There are quite a few ways to get there from here. But he's in a buggy, so I think he'll take Ragwell Bridge. Ragwell Bridge? It's not far. It's a really old bridge built around the time Colony 9 was founded. Okay. Let's make that our next stop. Sounds like a plan. Sharla, you stay back. Leave any monsters up to me and Shulk. <sighs> what? You think I can't pull my weight in battle? I've got field experience as a medic. If you get hurt, I can use Ether to patch you up. Nice. I'm always getting roughed up. You'll be a big help.
Come on. Who put this barrier in the way? Oh, now the front suspension's all twisted up. Looks like I'll have to walk it. They're all cowards. I'll show them all. Juju, what are you wishing to accomplish with this? <laughs> what is Juju going to do? <laughs> I do not know. There's something I hate this game does. It, um... Like, sets up this thing. You want to continue the story. You want to go save Juju. Right? <laughs> but it's like, then you have all these side quests that are timed. That if you progress the story, you'll never be able to do again. Like, I hate that, man. <laughs> I understand why they do it. it. It makes sense in the context of the story. Why we wouldn't be able to... Uh, continue on. This thing is moving. It's behind me. Oh, we have to cut it out this way. There it is. There's that. Yeah, okay. This is going to be a challenge. Uh, because I'm going straight towards it. I could just, like, wait. Aw, oh, man. That one troll theme. Violent and Ant Antonio. Everyone. I'm going to die immediately. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, just, uh, you, know, you know, just most of her life. Let's go ahead and... Beautiful. Okay, we got the top right away, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and cool off our rifle. I'm gonna apply that some big damage. Oh, help. He does, he really doesn't like Charla. Oh, oh, please. <laughs> Stay away, Batman. <laughs> okay, we gotta cool this thing off. Yeah, you wanna take every opportunity you can get to cool this thing off. Yeah. Okay, we gotta heal this, man. Okay. Cool off. This on, though. Let's give you a debuff reduction. Ah, uh, he's dazed. Yeah. Okay. Good thing I caught that, because if his, he's dazed, he won't be able to act in the chain attack. So, yeah, it was really good I caught that. Okay, we'll heal Ryan. <laughs> Don't screw up, Ryan. <laughs> okay, we'll get the topple here. Let's get the physical defense debuff going on. Nice. Okay, fully heal. Uh, let's actually get the shields going on around Ryan for now. Yeah, cool. Okay. Nice. nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's cool off our rifle. Oh, help. Oh, please. I can't move. Ryan, please. Now what? Gore on Shulk. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Nice. Oh, yeah, check it out. We got the topple. That will only delay it, though. Yeah, it's still gonna happen. Okay, not too bad. Give him a debuff resist. Let's, uh... Um... Gonna get aggro or what, my guy? Dude, Shulk is dodging everything, bro. Oh, whoa. That was weird. <laughs> How come he's not aggroing him? Okay, I do have a shield on him. We can chain attack right away. Yeah, okay, let's uh, metal burst. Topple him. Shulk, you gotta decrease your aggro, my guy. Yeah. Oh, did he resist the topple? It didn't work. Oh, God. <laughs> that was almost it. That was... I got so lucky. I got so lucky. We had zero party gauge. That was all luck. <laughs> That was all luck. Jaws of Defeat Achievement. 
Yeah, because I had such little health at the end. That was so incredibly lucky. Shulk, like, got the aggro back with the backslash, like, immediately. Speed shoes. Is that, like, a built-in, uh, quick step or what? That was hype. Yeah. Built-in quick step. Which is better altogether. Wow, that's cool. That's a nice come up. Alright, well, let's see. I don't really have that many, like, super useful gems. I'm pulling so much aggro. <laughs> I don't normally pull this much aggro with this girl. Uh, she does have a lot of ether right now. What do I want to give her? I guess more health. Since everything's trying to kill Sharla. <laughs> Alright, yeah, do we have anything new for you? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, exotic top. Oh, that's a lot less, um... Physical defense. How about how about with your with your hats? No, it's still the best thing for him right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was the first boss. Fast travel location around here. Let's go ahead and grab that really fast. Yeah, we're going to be using a lot of fast traveling to get around and complete all of these quests here. We got some more sour gooseberries. We're going to need that for Ewen. Ewen? I think that's how you say it. Uh, yeah, okay, you see that little island down there? That is where the White Eduardo appears. It's another boss. <laughs> yeah, it's called White Eduardo. There's a mech on here. Yeah, even, like, the scouts will p patrol the area, and if they see us, they'll, like, run to the other mech on, and, like, they'll be alerted. It's kind of a cool mechanic. Yeah. We can actually take this path here, and run right into another mech on. <laughs> that did not work out. That's fine. No worries. I got the quick step on, so it is all good. I think we'll find Juju's buggy here. Juju, everyone. Ragwell Bridge. Juju. Juju! Hey, Shola. Look. It's Juju's buggy. Juju! What is it? It's Juju! Shulk, is he okay? Uh, uh. Tell me! There's a mech on! It's taken Juju! Oh. When? I'm... I'm not sure. But I don't think we've got much time. Um, you said you saw a deep valley, didn't you? Yes. Oh, there's a place like that just up ahead. And it's even on the way to Colony 6. That must be the route Juju's taking. You sure? No other deep valleys around here? Not as far as I know. Well, Shulk, let's move. That has to be where Juju is. Okay, so we're gonna save Juju, dudes. But first, I gotta collect some more sour gooseberries, everyone. I thought I saw an item more of here. Am I tripping? It's a death bangle. <laughs> what is a death bangle? Why is it a thing that you could pick up? <laughs> Don't put that on. <laughs> Don't wear that bangle. It's a Final Fantasy 7 thing. Hot ta Taru. Oh, there's that bird that one shot to you. <laughs> Yeah, I believe uh, there's like a secret area around here. Look how fucking beautiful this is. I'm not talking about Charlotte, the sky. I mean that too. Oh, check it out. Look at this. It's a moth crawler. Yeah, we need one more to uh, give the kids. Here's another thing they do. Fast travel location on each side of the bridge. That is so convenient. I actually love that. 
yeah, I just wanted to snag those uh, fast travel locations. And like I said before, oh yeah, check it out. Level 75 monkeys, everyone. Um, anything here I want to grab? I don't think so. I kind of want to get these. Yeah. I see the shadow of that bird. Oh, it's daytime now. Yeah. Humming plum. Oh, they're closer. Okay. Gonna go ahead and take a swim here. Another heart to heart. This is a huge area. We're going to see a lot of them. Okay, so there should be some like birds that we need for uh, a quest here, I believe. Beyond the stain. I suppose we could grab a couple of these too. Go for a nice little swim. Let's go for a nice little swim here. I know there are level 70 fish. <laughs> why, is it, why is it always level 70? I do not know. I suppose we come back here <laughs> when we're level 70. I haven't got that far. <laughs> you hear the birds. The Oasis Flammy. There's the level 77 M Envy Sardi, everyone. Mm-hmm. Oh, you see them like block it? That's kind of funny. Just annihilate this thing. Mm -hmm. These things shouldn't stand much of a chance against us. What was that? Oh, we can't move. Oh, that's a cool ability. Binds. That's cool. I like that effect. Correct, Bill. We apparently have to pick something up from these things. Let's go ahead and damage immunity. Ryan, set up the break. Thunderbullet this thing. Yeah, we got the topple thanks to run and now we just cool off our rifle. That's pretty much how Sherla operates here it's At this point you want to watch, uh, you know for who needs a heal who needs a debuff uh, Taking off them and stuff like that cracked bill again. Not getting too lucky with these drops I'm pretty sure we uh, need to Get like eggs or something from these things. I think so. Mm -hmm. but yeah, that's the combo shield into uh, break into Thunderbullet essentially I like to keep Thunderbullet a little closer. They got some debuffs but Yeah, that's how the debuff uh, or what's this called like cure bullet works. Yeah Fantastic dude These things are no joke bro. They're putting up a fight. Oh, hey, check it out. We learned heal round. Yeah, this is the AoE heal. Pretty self-explanatory right there. Wow, two rare chests. Look at this. How cool. Yeah, fertile flammy eggs. Oh, that's kind of sad. Since they're both rare drops, yeah, we'll get the items we need. Perfect. And we don't have to take it out anymore. We got some, like, fancy new, like, arm things, huh? Block gauntlets. Paralyze resist. I mean, it would be a lot better physically defense for you, huh? Yeah, it is true. Take away strength, though. Is there anything I can replace to make up for that? Let's see. i give you strength. I could actually give the strength to you, huh? Yeah, no, it's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and check our arts. Can you level anything up already? Yeah, I definitely want to level up heal rounds. It's a great move. Yeah, well, the cooldown goes down like nothing, dude. 25% though. I kind of like engage a lot. Like a lot. Anything else, buddy? Sword drive? I want to give it a nice little level up. Yeah. I like that move. As for Shulk. Enchant? Yeah, we probably should. 10 more seconds on the timer. Hell yeah, bro. We'd actually level up twice? Hmm. What about his, like, basic arts, though? We need to show these some love. I think we'll level up Air Slash, actually. Yeah, we'll stick to Air Slash. 
Okay, cool. Wow, you had a lot of stuff going on. How's this going? Almost there. Alrighty, that was fast. Uh, healing inspiration. I think... Is this worth? Restores HP to an encouraged ally. I kind of want to work my way to heroic time. For now, let's switch to diligence. Yeah, it's just more HP for Ryan. 5%. I mean, it's not a lot, but it is, like, in the first row, which is a lot easier to learn. Like, this requires 300, 700, 1,000, 2,000, 3,500. Okay, uh, so, like, when you're looking for a specific weather pattern, what you want to do is change time. Like, one tick at a time, and you'll see it change here in a sec. See, it's raining. Oh, we got the thunderstorm right away. <laughs> That's exactly what you want to do. Okay, let's go ahead and shield Ryan. White Eduardo, everyone. The other boss uh, for this area here. Fortunately, he resisted break. Yeah, all Brogs have really good defenses. Okay. So go ahead and give debuff uh, resistance to Ryan. some damage on white eduardo oh my god dude what happened to ryan no <laughs> what happened i'm gonna chain attack here so in some cases some enemies are unable to be inflicted with break but when you're in a chain attack then they can be inflicted as you can see right there so now we can get a topple on white eduardo everyone fantastic how do you like that? Let's go ahead and cool off our rifle. While Shulk and Ryan go to town. On this weird looking frog theme. Let's go ahead and put debuff immunity on Ryan and heal Shulk. I mean he is... Dodging everything. All those agility gems I put on him. Oh, something bad's about to happen. Smash. On Shulk. Oh, you, you about to get clapped. Shulk, you are about to get clapped so hard. Okay, this is fine. Everything's fine. As long as Shulk doesn't get hit by that. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Nice, dude. Okay, let's go ahead and break. Topple. And let's uh, get your aggro down a little bit there, Shulk. Fantastic. Okay, we'll shield Ryan. And we'll heal him up. And we'll cool off Charla's rifle. Come on, Ryan. Pull that man. There you go. Yeah, this is working out. Let's go a little closer so the auto attacks can land. It's funny, she has a sniper, but you have to be kind of close to be able to hit them. It's just funny how that works out. Oh, I love that delivery of that line. Sword drive! <laughs> I love the banter, too. Amongst the party. Well done, man. That went so well. Way better than the previous one. Kind of blundering at the end. I'm warming up my uh, Charlotte skills. Oh, I really hope we get the good rifle for this. I really hope we get it. Ah, uh, steady arm? No, we didn't get it. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks, and I'm mad. I got the shitty rifle. <laughs> I got the shitty one she starts with. That sucks. Uh, warriors? Ooh. Okay, let's see how it looks. Uh, just out of curiosity. Remove this. Yeah, that's right. It's this fancy looking thing. That's right. I mean, it looks cool. I want to keep this ether up too on her. Can you wear this? You can. 
It's a lot more ether defense, but I don't, we're not going to be really dealing with ether stuff for a while. How's it look on you is the question. Whoa. It's pretty fancy, Shulk. Got seven physical defense, though. <laughs> yeah, what a, what a hat, bro. <laughs> okay, we have to see how it looks on Ryan. I know you like the glasses. I like them, too. How do you look normally right now? Ooh. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. Well, eh, I gotta get some... <laughs> Why is this gear so good, though? <laughs> it's so good, unfortunately. <laughs> I need to fix this. I'm so sorry. I do like the glasses. Do you, do you like the glasses? I think they're pretty cool. Let's, uh... Let's go into black. Ah, oh, that kind of matches the glasses a lot better, huh? Call me Ted, too. It's like... Blackish blue. Oh no, I put three there. Yeah. Oh, dude, you look kind of nice, dude. Let's give Ryan a gnarly ass weapon. That I don't know why you have this. <laughs> that looks so sick, dude. Who made this weapon? You have this now. Okay. <laughs> Show with this out. Okay, enough messing around. Yeah, we still got plenty of stuff to do. We got some hill, firefly. I, I think there's some quests we could do here. Is there like a secret? Or, uh, did we start that yet? Oh no, that's a later theme. Yeah. Let's just grab some of this juicy broccoli, everyone. Ah, huh. Okay, we can fast travel to the top of this. I think there should be like a letter or something. Oh, we shouldn't grab it though. Yeah, no, that's right. That's for a different quest. Anything new up here? Here, new. Okay. Okay, so we got the mini bosses out of the way before we got to Strawn, and they were just pushovers because that will happen. Nice. Dude, that looks so sick on Ryan, bro. These things are actually surprisingly pretty tough. We're already level 18. But like when you first get here, they can live for quite a while. And look, they're still alive. Yeah, they're weird. They're like zebras, but they got like horns on their nose. They're like unicorn zebras or something. But yeah, I like playing Charla. She's fun. I like this kind of like uh, managing you have to do with the cool off. I feel like she'd be way too OP if she had, like, a different talent art than this, you know? She's the healer class. Healer classes, like, in terms of tiers, are always, like, up there, you know? For example, like, the Vestal, Darkest Dungeon. Like, by far the best character in that game. Vestal has it all. Nicely done. A victory for teamwork. Mm, no meats. Oh, we got one of them. Mm, okay, let's see. I guess we'll just wander around now. Oh, that's right. There should be that quest that you, you find that girl who's being attacked by the Vavolves. Or the Volofs. Whatever they're called. It might be a theme that's only available at night. Yeah, you can come across, like, little events. Like, there should be a girl who's, like, by this waterfall. And, uh, like, she was, like, taking a shower or something like that. And, um, she gets attacked by wolves. Yeah, it's just kind of something that, yeah, yeah right here. Save the girl. Here. Ferocious Vavouf. Volif. Volif. Don't get careless, says Shulk, as he runs in before his tank <laughs> can catch up. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of them, but they're uh, pretty low level. Even if you just get here, like, right away, yeah. Yeah, this is a uh, tranquilizer. You can... It's very good, like, crowd control, you know? If you pull a lot of enemies. Oh, that's strange, actually. Sure. Metal block! <laughs> 
Uh, okay, let's uh, let's just front slash this man. Yeah. Did not bad. Now let's call off our rifle. Oh, you know what's perfect too? We, we need to defeat these guys for a quest, so this actually is saving a bit of time, hunting them down. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's a uh, another mini boss, another unique monster, I should be calling them, uh, that's in the form of a wolf. Uh, a wolf? Okay, we've done it. Nice. Spotted Wolf Hide. Sonic Launcher. Thank you. I thought it was Goner. The wolf surrounded me. I couldn't get out of the water. Good, it was our pleasure. Yeah, it feels good to do a good deed. This place is great for bathing, but I'm never coming back by myself. I'd better get back to the camp. Thanks again. Fantastic. And I think she gives us her, like, swimming trunks. Yeah, the diver top and diver bottoms. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's go around. Oh, hey. Territorial Rot Bart. <laughs> yeah, I hate that thing so much. <laughs> Check it out. We got some, uh... Some Ponios here. Yeah, we need their meat. And the bigger, like, stronger ones we need to, uh... Hunt for a quest as well. Yeah. That thing is gone. <laughs> nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and shield Ryan. Break. Goodbye this chest. Wonderful. Yeah, we're just building the uh, party gauge throughout this whole thing, too. It will gradually fall down, so you kind of want to, like, when you're doing quests, trying to chain off each other if you can. I shield myself. They call her Selfish Sharla. <laughs> oh, we got a rare chest up there that should have a guaranteed quest item in it. I think that's how it works. Gotta keep my eye on this dumbass monkey. Uh, yeah, check it out. Alright. Yeah, okay, cool. So now we can bring him the meat. We still have to defeat a couple of these. Let's go ahead and shield Ryan. How many more do we need for this? I can pull another one. Oh, we made that thing mad. Yeah, we used the ether attack, so, uh, the nebula is actually mad. Okay, that was the final one we needed. So now we have to defeat this. It's very annoying. Yeah, I think they're only damaged, uh, really by, like, ether attacks. I'm pretty sure. Let's chain attack. Thunder bullets. Yeah, I see. You'll hit twice. Let's, uh, try to topple this thing. Uh, okay. Just, uh, just do something. Uh, yes. Okay, wonderful. We'll do this. One more damage. Hey, we're still going. I'm still going. Okay, sword drive. Yeah, this thing does not care about physical attacks. It's it only takes damage from like ether based stuff. Um, so Charlotte is really her only chance here, unfortunately. Yeah, these things are annoying. <laughs> Wait, what'd she say? I was not listening. Elemental Cannon. Whoa. <laughs> that was a hell of a move. Hell of a technique there. I'm pretty sure if we don't kill this thing fast enough too, it will explode. Yeah, like right before it dies. And we won't even get loot out of it either. It's a real dick move. <laughs> oh, this one Ponyo. Just chilling. Elemental Bullet. Oh, please. <laughs> Stay away from that thing. Oh, we got another uh, chain attack, huh? Okay, cool. Wonderful. Let's, uh... Let's hit this thing with this. 
Topo you. Wonderful. Backslash. Nice. Perfect. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure this thing's about to boom. A look closer. Try to get the auto attacks going on here. Oh, I think that's it. Yeah, okay, we got it before it exploded. Oh, God. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm not even going to pretend I wasn't afraid. <laughs> okay, let's check out this uh, new art from Ryan. Berserker. Or that disregards defense, prioritized attack. Oh, yeah, so this is pretty much like rage, but the opposite. But I think it does a lot of attack. 75%. That is ridiculous. I want to put this like over here. Yeah, because when I play Ryan, I'm going to prioritize using this. But this could be fun. It could be a lot of fun. Put this here. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. This is a heal round, like I was saying earlier. It's an AoE heal. It does take 25%, which is even more than a heal burst. But, I mean, that's kind of a small price to pay for a group heal. More of a return for that. Yeah, let's see. We got Heal Blast. We level up. Cure Bullet. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just hold on to that for now. I guess we don't have that much, huh? We could level up Hammer Beat to the fourth stage. Yeah, I think we will. Is there even a point of leveling up Shadow Eye? Decreased aggro. And it's true. Kind of want to get the fourth stage backslash. Looking at this. Okay, this damn monkey. <laughs> you damn dirty ape. Oh god. <laughs> it's night time. There's apparently something here we can use. Under the bridge downtown. Wonderful. Very cool. Okay, I think we need to get like the fireflies next, huh? I'm gonna put it off for as long as I can. <laughs> because it, it just takes forever. They actually won't show up during the rain. Yeah, like certain enemies like those awkward nebulas will not, will only show up during the rain. And like some won't. Which is a cool little touch. With the quest tracker, it's it's not that big of a deal. Of course. Just kind of had to experiment with the different weather. That's the one thing. I wish they had like something that like let you change the weather. Things are heating up achievement. It's raining, Charla. <laughs> well, I guess it is kind of goopy rain, huh? I'm just being a smart ass. And the final leg, wolf. Wolf. Dude, that thing just fell over. Didn't stand a chance. Dude, let's not lose our heads, though. We need those. Nothing else here. Yeah, let's uh, unfortunately change. I love the rain. It's so relaxing. We need to find these uh, fireflies here. Let's get this party started. Leave it to Roy. But they are flying monsters, so thankfully Charla's moves will crit. Or have a higher chance to crit. Yeah. Yeah, Shulk. Get stuck in. What does that mean? That sounds lewd. Is that like a European thing? Get stuck in? <laughs> I... T <laughs> like, I guess? I think? Oh, that didn't sound racist. It kind of was. <laughs> Metal Blanc! <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah, it's so, such a low drop rate. Light Wisp. 
Let's get this done and dusted. I like that one. That was cool. Oh, rare chest. That is a guaranteed glowing wisp fluid thing. Oh, these things are very strong. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to fuck with those. <laughs> uh, just normal dude. Oh, dude. Our first turkin that we're seeing, huh? Done and dusted. That is sick. Yeah, that's right. We got to stop at the turkin headquarters and, like, face. That's kind of boss, too, huh? Yeah, that is right. Maybe we should head to the spirit turkins first, huh? Yeah, these guys. All right, this is our first time seeing the turkin. We heard that there's, um... These guys are kind of causing trouble for everyone in Colony 6. All the survivors of Colony 6, I should say. Everyone who evacuated, at least. Motivation. Oh, he, he hasted himself. That's cool. Yeah, these are our first uh, enemies that actually can chain attack us. Yeah. Yeah, if you get a group of enemies, uh, yeah, they can chain attack you. Which honestly is really cool. We'll probably end up seeing it. Yeah. Especially since we're going straight into their uh, their lair here. Oh my god. <laughs> we're going to have so many small insect legs at the end of this. I think those wood bonnets are down here. If I'm remembering cor correctly. I can't believe I remember all the shit. <laughs> We got the slugger bonnet, everyone. Metal blonde. Yeah, you could have done this as early as we got here. These are the uh, the quests that we got from the wandering uh, uh, traders. Yeah, but I wanted to have Charlotte in the team so we could build more affinity between all these characters. We're just here. Ah. Huh. I did it. Cool. Done and dusted. Super Sharla? Make her bunny. That's what we have to defeat this boy. Okay. God, we're already level 19. Look at us just pulling, just pushing through all these things. Flame fur. I think these particular bonnets are not the type we are looking for. Yeah, they're sluggers. Sluggers. I guess not enough of them spawns. That sucks. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's do the thing then. Save. Uh, here. Okay. Really hope my my footage does correct crap now. Okay, I think the way it works You want to go to title screen then load. Oh god. I really hope <laughs> my footage does correct. Probably should reset my recording now that I said that it's been another hour. Jesus <laughs> I like this game. I'm having fun I'm having fun. I really am. I love grindy games like this. I Actually do there's so much to see there's so many little stories, and we're in all those little stories from the, uh, the survivors of Colony 6, so like, oh, I'll get you a toy. That's what I felt. We gotta get it done and dusted. Oh, there's Berserk. So now, like, his attacks are, like, way stronger. Okay, cool. It's dope. Nicely done. Is there anything here we could do that's like close by? Um, I think so actually. As a matter of fact, I think so. Yeah, we, yeah, we have to go down there. Yeah. God, this game is so beautiful at night. 
Look. Oh my god, look at that. Check that out. That's sick. What is that? I don't know. Jabu's Rock Rest Area, everyone. Daughter, Armu. I know there are level 70s of these things running around. Probably should watch out for those. No Firefly. I think uh, I think it has something to do with the Turkins. I know there's like a another mini boss over here. It's like a sniper Turkin. Here's a spear one. Take this boy out. Let's hit this man, make him feel sad. <laughs> Is that Ryan? Who's like over here? <laughs> I don't think I've heard that one. Uh, Charlotte learned her skill. Wonderful. Yeah, we want to get the next one up though. Okay, Archer. Yeah, these. Oh, hi. Hey, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just kind of. I was trying to get that theme. <laughs> he, <re> <laughs> he just fell over. Worn out weapon. Yeah, apparently we're trying to get a drop from these things, huh? Okay. Why are you showing up out of nowhere? Is this like backup? Are these backup people? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, oof. It's a good thing Ryan's here, everyone. Okay. The last one. <laughs> Is that what Ryan says when he uh, taunts someone over here? Is that it? I think I would recognize that. Two rares. Yeah. Okay, we got them both. Beautiful. Okay, cool. We apparently need something more from these guys. Uh, let's see. This guy. Sniper. Para. Oh, this man is mad at me. Okay. Sure. Try me. Oh, please help. Young Charla. It's a beauty, it was. Okay, let's, let's initiate a chain attack here. Get our topple. And follow it up with a slit edge. Oh, jeez. Oh, I got there. Uh oh. Uh, Armu plat. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I, I can't move. Um, probably should run. Okay. Uh, I fix. Uh, well, no, that's it. It's definitely it. And, oh wow, Ryan, you actually ate an auto attack from a level 70 monster. That is, how did you do that? <laughs> it was level, you're level, tw what level are we? <laughs> that piece of shit Armu. <laughs> He's like, I saw what you did to my little brother. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> it's daytime now. <laughs> the joint was mad funny and we were stopped what are the chances of that like at that exact moment what are the chances of that i do not know that was ridiculous <laughs> yeah we apparently need a drop from these guys too all right check it out we got one Turkin Tail 
feather. Wow, another rare chest. How extremely lucky is that? That is a quest complete. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. We haven't even been to the Turkin area yet. I guess this guy's gimmick is he has a larger field of view. Son of a bitch. No, you stay away from me, bad man. Okay, please. <laughs> Or round two. No, we're fine up here. <laughs> we are not going down there. There's not going to be a thing that's happening. <laughs> yeah, you were going to sit in your ass and you were going to like it. <laughs> Bow and arrow? What is that move? Yeah, let's give that debuff immunity to Ryan. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we're running through him now. It was funny, though. Where is that? I'm so paranoid. I'm pretty sure a level 70 won't be affected by by this. I'm pretty sure he won't. It'd be a little too he's coming our way. Are you actually kidding? Oh my We got him. Oh my god, he was affected. Don't don't attack the level 70 guys. <laughs> I'm out of here. Well, they were nice. <laughs> I guess I'm Charlotte on my own yet again. Well, the the sniper Turkin and his Armu friend, everyone. Calm shot. I think that's a theme for Charlotte. Yeah, it's not exactly what I'm looking for, but it's an upgrade. Wow, a much better upgrade. Auto attack wise. Yeah. Cool. If only I had more ether gems. Need to uh make some more. Increase the weapon's maximum damage by 12%. Increase the weapon's minimum damage by 12%. That's right, yeah. You attack in like rolls, like Pokemon, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I I guess we'll give her that for now. Just to have something on. It's it's really Ryan? Probably should stay away from that thing. Oh, there's something back here. Yeah, this is the torn piece of paper we're looking for. Yeah. That guy was talking about uh, that went to the west. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Yeah, we got it. Look how beautiful this is. Alley oop. And then Charla died. <laughs> Terminal velocity achievement. <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and change the time of day. We need to get these fireflies. Hopefully, we get as lucky as we did with those Turkin like rare drops, huh? Let's get this done you know what? We got so lucky with Eduardo, I can't even be mad. Like we got so lucky with the uh, thunderstorm because that <laughs> it's very rare for that to happen, and it happened pretty much immediately for us. So I can't even be mad. I mean, look at this. Everything. Everything is working out. My day is made. <laughs> I can't complain about anything. I just can't. Almost level 22. Sharpshooter Sharla. Another rare chest. Got new pants? Who wants new pants? Soil leggings. Oh. Do you have the underwear on the outside? What the hell? Oh. Okay. It's a lot better for you, sir. 
Ah. Oh, uh, yeah. That kind of strange. Yeah, it's definitely an improvement. You needed something new. Poor Shulk. Okay, yeah, just one more to go. Hell yeah. It's actually the fastest I've gotten these ever. <laughs> Watch this be a third rare chest. Nah, it's too much to ask for. Watch the final one is going to be the one that takes forever. Uh, hello? Rusty Bolts. We should probably check the Collectpedia, huh? Are you mad at me? What have I- what- what did I do? What's your beef, man? Tough guy, huh? Airing grievances? What are these achievements I'm getting? I don't even know. Small insect leg. Tough guy, huh? <laughs> what does that mean? I, because these guys are so lower level? Maybe. Let's go, everyone, achievement. Yeah, okay, so I, I'm assuming that's for, uh, hitting the, um, battle start theme correctly for, you know, a set amount of times. I don't think they can reach him. Let's pull this theme back a little bit. Damn it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this date. Let's get the done dust. Yeah, you know what? For all that said there, at least they're not like super strong enemies. Check it out. We actually got a beautiful bro. Uh, you want to head back? I think so. I do think so. What? You actually managed to get the Ponyo Neck meat. I can't believe it. Well, I suppose I did promise. Okay, I'll write a story for the book. Let Matriona know. I underestimated you. And somehow, don't ask me why, I think my luck might be changing. Well, how nice is that? Uh, okay, let's go ahead and change the time of day here. Yeah. Got a lot of stuff to turn in. Well, You've collected them all, thank you so much. Oh, I haven't told you what remedy I'm going to make. I'll use the ingredients to make a potent anti-insomnia remedy. Now all there is to do is get Gorman his medicine. Good. It was our pleasure. Sharla, you're a medic, right? No wonder you like helping people. Yes, but that's not the only reason. I just like making people happy. You did good out there, you lot. You have my thanks. God, this game just spread so many positive messages. Oh, we got another one of those. Dude, that is what I'm talking about. He'll do it? Oh, that's wonderful. That's fantastic news. Good. It was our pleasure. Olga told me what happened. He asked you to go and get some... Ponyo neck meat, didn't he? Can't believe Ellen would put you in danger like that. Talented writer he is, but he can be so very thoughtless sometimes. Rest assured, we'll work it out. Take this as payment from me. It's the least I can do. That's neat. Okay, yeah, we have a new theme for uh, Ellen here. It's better for you, sir. It is. Lose the HP up, that's fine. Uh, oof. Just kidding, Shulk. Nerd, you're not getting this. Can I actually give this to you? <laughs> oh, it's better. Oh, it's better. I can actually see what you look like now. Without that weird... Aww. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what? No, not the hat. Uh, yeah. 
Back in black. Back in black, you go. <laughs> Let's, um, take the glasses off and now why not? Yeah. Just want to mess them up. Okay, Shulk, you nerd. You get this. It is a huge improvement. And it kind of... It, it matches what he's wearing, huh? Uh... Yeah. It's kind of cool. Oh, it's certainly different, huh? We have two of these. Yeah. Was that HP up? It was on the previous thing, right? I don't remember. Pixel Trick's starting to get a little sleepy. Jolty up. We need better stuff. HP up, yeah. Uh, how about you? You got a round top? Um, oh, wow. look at that. That's weird. Whoa. It's actually worse. How about the gloves? Paralyze resist. One more way. They kind of look cool. Huh. Kind of like those. Well, wow, she's all gemmed up. She got all the gems. Where are you curious? I don't think this thing is getting replaced anytime soon. Good footing? What does that even do? I don't know. This actually is better for you. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's see. How's that look? Oh no. <laughs> When will I learn my lesson? Oh, you can have that. That's cool. That works. So what does good footing do? Effects? No. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you kind of look better. You kind of... What is it? The pants? It is the pants. That's fine. <laughs> Just leave it. <laughs> He'll be fine. How's this going? Ways to go there. We almost got that. How about skill links? I don't think there's anything new we can get currently. You make it so Shulk wears heavy armor. I don't think that's a very good idea though. Maybe to see how it looks on Shulk? I don't know if it'll make much of a difference. From his like standard gear. Hey, it's you guys again. You're just the people I needed to see. Um, I need to apologize. Sorry for how I acted before. Ever since the attack, I just haven't been myself. My attitude and my writing have been all over the place. I sit down to think and suddenly my mind turns to that day. All that running. And I never really escaped that day. And never will. How worrying. Consumed by fear, I hid among a crowd of elders and children. Before I knew it, I was being led into the evacuation ship. All while Gadolt and the others made a stand until the very end. I was a selfish idiot. You need to stop being so hard on yourself, Ellen. Not a single person here hates you for the decision you took. Hearing that from you makes all the difference, Sherla. Maybe it is time to move on. But I'm feeling more positive now. Once again, feel the desire to put quill to paper. I've written a few lines since Matriana gave me an idea. Things are a little awkward between us, but it's getting better. Which brings me to the favor I need to ask you. I need sour gooseberries to make some paints up for Matriana. They'll add a nice splash of color to the book. The thing is, she doesn't have any. No one around here does. I hate to ask, but do you think you can get some for me? You're a lifesaver. Thank you ever so much. I know you can find them. I'll get back to my writing. And count on us. We'll get it done. Don't forget about me, Charlotte. Now let's get this sorted. Together. Of course. I know you'll do it or die trying. Isn't that right, Ryan? Nice. Our friends just died. Don't joke about that. It's a very serious thing. Yeah, what about the quest for these people? I don't know. We haven't got that yet. How do we get that? That's uh, a good question. Let's uh, change the time. Just to double check. Uh, we need to get some sour gooseberries, everyone. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, the sun really is so nice. 
It's so very chill. What is this? How do we get this? Check our nice mini map here. I guess we have to go up there. Okay, let's go ahead and fast travel to Camo's guidepost. Camu. Camo. Pretty sure it's Camo. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. There's a thing here. I do like the animation of that, it's pretty cool. What is she doing there? She like kicks it or something? I don't know. Check this out. What was down here? Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. There's a bunch of stuff in this cave we have to get. Yeah, I think we have to actually fight some veins. This isn't the Turkin place. No. Leg Arachno. Whoa, look how gnarly it looks. Gross. I never no noticed the detail on this thing until now. Let's go first person. We'll go, uh, horror let's play on this one, huh? <laughs> horror mode. Me face cam. All right, let's do this. Oh yeah, you can see the gun too. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's like a first person shooter. <laughs> yeah, if you like keep focused on that. We will need some silk from these guys. Yeah, we will. Yeah, that's right. We need to take out some of these veins. I tried to pull multiple at one time. It's Gust Vein. Shulk, what are you doing? <laughs> I pulled this one. The other ones were not mad at us. <laughs> he was like, no, you know what? I want to fight these things too, though. It's like he knew what I was thinking. Double peck? How do you peck? You don't have a... A B, do you? Cracked Bill, I guess they do. Nice. There's two of them. Okay, so this is the endless ether deposit that, um... That one guy was talking about. Oh, what's his name? Some with an E? I mean, it is an ether deposit, but as far as being endless, that is not the case. It's what he was talking about. It's just a normal ether deposit. There's nothing special about it. Look what happens, dude. We got ambushed by fierce veins, but we're too high level for them to actually attack us, actually. <laughs> yeah, normally they would auto attack you if you're around their level but I kind of do all the side quests in games so yeah if you're a higher level than uh these enemies then um <laughs> yeah they'll just ignore you <laughs> yeah well done Ryan oh check it out I think we'll get the item from this as a matter of fact Well, these things are still kind of tough, huh? Nothing can withstand our chain attack. Let's hit it with uh, sword drive, actually. Get the multiplier. Nearly 7k. That's cool. Okay, we got all the vein teeth without having to reset. That's cool. Now, I believe... Make it to the end of this on the other side. Yeah, the side we didn't come out on. This will lead to, uh, what's it called? We might as well kill this thing. We need to, uh, 
get some drops, some like arachno silk or something from one of these. But yeah, this will lead to another quest item. Uh, yeah, that's right. We're level 20. Look at us. Oh, wow, that's a sick looking gun. I didn't even realize. Check that out. It's cool. Yeah, that's right. Because uh, this is the only way to get on top of this ledge here. Yeah. I don't know if anything will show up. I'll be in our way. Oh, it's an archer turkin. Oh, we got turkins all over the place. Look at this. We do need to take up brave turkins. It's true. All right, let's do this. Oh, we pulled a lot of them. This might be a little bit of a challenge. I'm right, pulling all the aggro. Like a scrub up. There's one of them. Let's go in here, Ryan. Perfect. Just top everyone off. Pretty sure we're all full, really. Okay, and that was the final brave Turkin we needed right there. Okay. Let's get the multiplier going here. Yeah, I love how she talks shit to Ryan. It's funny. Don't screw up, Ryan. That's so funny, actually. Wow, that was a lot. Double rare chest, too. Turk and Crest. Fantastic, dude. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize they go, like, make, like, sounds and stuff. Well, cool. they're not worth our time. The quest item is right here. What was this? Just some some item. Yeah. She dropped when she was in a hurry from the mech on. Speaking of the mech on, they are here. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and play as Shulk. Good old Shulk. What a good friend. Yeah, we have to defeat these models of mech on here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and enchant our friends because they can't attack mech on. Oh, wow, he resisted that. Oh, yeah, it was just a little too late there, I saw. Yeah, we have to deal with these guys along the way. That's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Let's uh, refresh enchant. It does last 50 seconds, which should be enough, but... Oh, you see Charlotte, like, firing off shots and stuff? That was cool. <laughs> you don't need to tell me. Hoarding treasure. Yeah, it sounds about right. Oh, check it out. We got, um... Got aggroed by this thing. Oh, okay. There we go, boyos. M32 scouts. Yeah, these things are so annoying. Yeah, and we got a chain attack for the next, uh... Horde of Goons, too. Perfect. <laughs> that was funny. That was a funny one. Okay, let's go ahead and enchant our goons. Mm. Nice. Oh, I should have got behind him. What was I thinking? 
At least he'll like run run up to him. So that's cool. Wow, that thing got annihilated. 10,000 damage? 10,000 damage chain attack. Dude, we're gnarly now. Like, we're really gnarly. That was cool. Hey, check it out. We got an ether cylinder from that. Uh, okay, so we gotta defeat two more of those. Uh, I don't think any of those models are here, actually. Yeah, these are just normal mech on. I think they're on the other side of the bridge. If I am remembering correctly. There's apparently something we can get here. It's probably more sour gooseberries. I think we do need those. There's that giant ether thing too. I haven't even shown that off. Yeah, sour gooseberries. Look at that. Cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the bird. Yeah, okay, so we have to turn that in. And if I am remembering correctly... Yeah, check the cannon Valencia. Oh, damn, dude. We're getting all the Star Goose berries. <laughs> How come that one quest isn't proccing? I don't know. I have no clue. Maybe we have to... Turn in the sour gooseberries for that one to happen? I don't know. Might only appear at a certain time of day. Yeah, okay, so we got these guys right here. It's Minato and Chant Ryan and Charla. Yeah, when you're dealing with Mechon, you really want to play a Shulk. Because unfortunately, uh, the AI will not really like enchant enough, so fights will last like way longer than they should. Hey, we got a nice piece of armor right there. I saw that. Okay. Chant here. Charlotte actually using a uh, tranquilizer. That's cool. I didn't know you could tranquilize a machine like that. I won't question it. You got me here. What did you expect? <laughs> That's a new one. Okay. I'm such a scrub. I need to get behind these scenes before I start my backslide. So clean 7k. Like, not bad. Ooh, did I get some nice Sharla? I'm getting a lot of gear. <laughs> I've gotten three calm drop spawns. Calm shot drops. <laughs> It's pretty ridiculous, man. How about you? Hunter gear. Pretty much the same. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Should <laughs> Ryan with his multiple, like, <laughs> pieces of gear that show off his belly button in, like, different colors and stuff. The Ryan fan service is real. Oh, she say that when she puts someone to sleep? That's hilarious. I didn't know that. Okay, we don't have to deal with Mechon for a while. Very cool. You know what? That didn't take too long. Huh? That's Buster, this man. Mega overkill. 
Oh my god, Pixel Tricks actually getting into proper position for once. Amazing. 8,000 damage, yo. Yeah, check it out. We're level 21. Okay. We will have to come back here for an item later. But check it out. Ryan and uh, Shulk's affinity leveled up. That's great, man. That is great. So now uh, they'll have more turns to uh, like craft stuff. That's definitely a level 75. Like rabbit or something. Yeah, it certainly looks like it. Let's check out this nice collect pea. Hot daru, juicy broccoli, spicy cabbage, hard low tuss. Pelt top. Okay, cool. We actually got a fair amount. Not as much as I would like. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we had an extra sour gooseberry at the end there, so that's fine. Hill firefly. Moth crawler. Ah, uh, I don't. I don't think we had an extra one of those. Did we turn those in? I think that was auto turned in. I hope. Well, even if not, we could always track them. We're getting some new stuff. Pelt bottoms. Oh, what is this pelt set? <laughs> I hope it's something for you. <laughs> uh, pelt. Oh wow, that is really good. That's light armor? Uh, wow. That's crazy. How's it look on you, my guy? So I could actually give you the set. <laughs> okay. Hunter gear. Let's see. What else did I get? I don't know. Legger gauntlets? Oh, those look kind of cool, huh? Slightly better than this. Have a free slot. Yeah, it's fine. Um, please tell me you got new pants. <laughs> they look exactly the same. That is so funny. I was so happy to get new pants. <laughs> I mean, 23 physical defense, dude. Like, it's worth. I'm so sad I didn't get the gun. I want to go farm Eduardo. Yeah, the next time the thing uh, happens, that almost leveled up. Let's head back to Colony 9. Colony 9. Command stall. So Ryan and Shulk have leveled up their affinity. So we actually can progress that one quest. That's right. I think it's a little too late. Uh, we can do that later. Who's there? Who's there? Yeah, we got a bunch of cylinder drops from those things, too. Nothing too interesting. So, if you want to have an easier... Oh, we got rank 2 stuff, too. Tax stability. Um, wow, it's, like, just enough for a rank 2. Uh, yeah, we'll hold on to it for now. What do I want to make? Ether. I want to make ether stuff for Sharla. Because she, like, has the room for it. So say, yeah, that should be fine. I want to make a level 90 one first. We'll go, we'll go, uh, Shulk and Ryan. Yeah, you want to make ether cylinders first, uh, if you can. As I said previously, that you can only make one gem per thing. I was wrong about that. As long, if anything exceeds 100%, it'll make a gem. Yeah, okay, so the crafting's incomplete, so we can choose one of these to save. We can save this 75%, and now we have a 75% ether gem, which is really good. It is. Do we have enough to actually make a good one, is the question. Uh-huh. Can we go any further than that? Oh, what is this? Wait, what have I done? Oh, that's that's to show it. Yeah, I see. Okay. Uh huh. We have another ether cylinder. Oh, it's a very small one. All right, hold up. What we could do? Let's grab this ether cylinder. We have this ether up one, and combine it with something low. Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. Okay. Hopefully that isn't enough to 
level it up fully. Let's see how this works out. 69, that's kind of close. Yes, okay, perfect. We should be able to get the next rank now. Nice. So, ether up. Ether up 169. This is where you save scum. Yeah, you can save scum this. Which I definitely suggest doing this. You'd say I have no honor because I don't. <laughs> because for chumps. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, let's see if uh, we get first try. We should. Yeah, it was. Okay, yeah. So we got an Ether 3 for Charla. This ain't bad at all. Or Ether 2. But still, it's what I wanted. Nice, dude. This definitely seemed like the most intimidating thing when I first started this game, the uh, gem crafting. I just did not understand how it worked. But it's actually quite simple once you get the hang of everything. Ether up too. There you go. It's way better. Agility up. I can get another agility up for Shulk. Do we have a strength up for you, sir? No. Make it a strength up for Ryan. Yeah. Strength up. Uh, agility, strength of 13%. Yeah, we gotta make a cylinder first. Strength up 15%. Yeah, it should be good. Yeah. Hopefully that isn't enough. Let's see. Hopefully it levels up a little bit. <laughs> I want to make a good cylinder. Okay, yeah, 80%. It's not bad. Now we can make it another strength cylinder. Strength up, 43%. Oh, wow, what is this? Auto heal? Uh, it's a little too close. Yeah. You don't want to make it too close. You don't want this thing to go over. Uh, 68, that's kind of close too. We'll go 65. It's still a little sketch. I'm all I got it. Okay. We got the auto heal. Oh no. Aw oh, shit, dude. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> Made the worst slow resist uh, cylinder of all time. <laughs> wow, that's so unlucky. Okay, strength up. Uh-huh. What is this? I'm still up 100%. Oh, I see. Well, actually 100%. 54. 74, too close. I ain't going through that again. 34. Yeah, that's fine. Hopefully that works out. Let's see. You guys look so funny. Uh. Oh, not again. Nice. Perfect, dude. Perfect. Got a nice strength up one coming. No prob. 170. And this is where I save scum. My backup save. Probably unnecessary, huh? Who's there? Oh, we got a portal here, too, for a challenge. I don't know what this one does. Nice. This is absolutely mint. <laughs> I actually love that. The phrase, that's so funny. <laughs> okay, Ryan, you got yourself a nice strength up too. A very nice one. Get a nice agility up for Shulk, huh? He's been dodging everything, dude. Like an absolute beast. Agility up. That's a really teeny one. Uh-huh. I actually really enjoy this. <laughs> Now that I know what I'm doing, I know there might be people like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> uh, 72, that might be a little too close. If it goes over, I'll be sad and we'll stop. Per wow, the best one, best one I could possibly get. That is really cool. I need to aggro up, Jim. How do I make that? Oh, we'll just combine this with you, sir. Yeah, 172, sure. 
Does not get much better than that. I didn't save Scum this time. Oh, cool. This is really good. Yeah, we got ourselves, um... Actually, a pretty decent strength cylinder. Okay, we've crafted a uh, brand new fancy gem for everyone here. Change equipment. Monado boy. Yeah, look at you. Want to replace that strength too? No, let's replace the HP up with our bad HP. With our bad agility up, yeah. Yeah. Looking cool, Shulk. Nice, dude. Should we check out the challenge? I've been recording too. I need to. <laughs> My Switch is crying right now. It's like first Animal Crossing, now this. Stuff you put me through, man. Well. Suppose people aren't thinking about the ether lamps right now. But I have to try to sell them. That's why they're 50% off. Yes. I want to guess what my job is. You'll never guess I'm a critic. No one else tells it like it is and from the commoner's perspective. Don't make a lot of cash, but my work is good as gold. Well, he loves what he does. I feel like I'm doing pretty well for myself. Better than the guy who goes down by the bridge every night. Is he learning how to argue or something? Bit silly, that. Yes. I'm used to being in debt, but never this badly. Well, I'll never be able to pay the whole lot back. That total keeps growing bigger and bigger. The worst part is, it's affecting my ability to write anything decent. So I barely have any kind of cash flow coming in at all. Listen to you, sonny, you better pay me back. 300,000 gold in two days. You do realize what will happen if you don't pay, right? You can't. We agreed on two months. I can't get it that quickly. Well, deal's changed. If you don't pay up, I'm going to seize everything you own. The bloke who lent me the money is really turning the screws. I don't know what I can do, but I have to keep up my payment somehow. Meet Keen Squeeze and object to his harsh collection methods. Okay, so we gotta meet up with Keen Squeeze. It's right over here. Yeah, this is the quest I was talking about earlier. Uh, yeah, I think we're just about done with gem crafting for now. Yeah, let me know if you want to see all of these. <laughs> Do you really? <laughs> like, I don't know. Could be cool. Might be some spoilers for some enemies we haven't seen yet, huh? I didn't think about it that way. Maybe. It's true. Keen Squeeze. I think I'm pressing our good friend Leopold for too much. For money he doesn't have. Can't deny it, but I'm not an unreasonable money lender. Just want him to pay back the money he owes me. Is that so much to ask? Could do it if you just stopped splashing out on his girlfriend. Then his wages could go back to paying me back instead. Then we'd be square. I gladly call the whole thing off. Once again, very nicely done. Of course. It's child's play getting men like him to spend all their money. Good work, my girl. Here's your new orders. This much? Are you nuts? What do you need him to get into this much debt? I think it's about time I got out of this game for good. I want that boy's house. It's in a nice area worth quite a bit. The infamous Kin Squeeze is packing it all in, huh? Alright, you got a deal. Expect a sizable contribution to your retirement funds. Make sure you don't screw this up. Make sure he doesn't find out. Then she thinks to herself, You would say that. You're the one who's looking to cash in. Leopold would never blame me anyway. He loves me. So, I don't know, I'm under the impression she kind of likes him for real, but she's still kind of screwing him. Because she's working for Keen Squeeze. What, what do you want? You wipe that suspicious look up your face for a start. There's nothing going on here. So, we could either talk to her or talk to him. I guess if we confront her, then we will 
expose King Squeeze and her for uh, like trying to screw over Leopold's. But if we talk to Leopold's, I don't think he'll ever find out about her being involved with Keen Squeeze at all. And they'll like still be together. And then Keen Squeeze will go away forever. <laughs> yeah, it's really, it's kind of a hard decision because he, like, first of all, he's a critic and he does owe him money, but they're trying to screw him over by having her spend all of his money. And then he wants to like take his house. It's really a messy thing. I don't like Keen Squeeze. I'm going to go with this route where I talk to him. I'm gonna make sure I talk to him. Yes. Hold on, you see, Sylveon's been working for Keen Squeeze right under my nose this whole time. I guess we just tell him actually. So what was their plan? Make Sylveon spend all my money so I could borrow more. Then hit me up for the repayments? Nah, it can't be. That girl's been a big spender since the day she was born. She would never spend my money to line Keen Squeeze's pockets. But if Keen Squeeze's business falls apart, would that mean my dad'll disappear with him? What a plan! It's brilliant! Sorry, this is a bit out of the blue, but I need a favor from you. Can you get your hand on some caterpillar poison for me? Then, distract Keen Squeeze and secretly slip it into his pocket. I intend to arrange an interview with him for a fake article something like calling e nine's top earnings of the year he'll take the bait we'll meet and i coincidentally find the poison he'll get incriminated losing face and his business is finished he'll never show his face around here again yeah, okay so that's what we're doing here we're gonna frame him for something he didn't do like, honestly, I feel like they're all terrible people. I don't like any of these people. But I, I like Keen Squeeze the least. But yeah, if you do take this route, then Keen Squeeze will go away forever. Yeah, I think if you take the other route, uh, he's, he'll, he'll get exposed for trying to, like, set up this plan. And he won't, uh, he won't take his house. I don't know. I feel terrible either way. Okay, so we need some caterpillar poison. We can go to Tefer Cave and uh, kill the caterpillars there. Can we do this yet? I don't think so. No, not yet. Or we could actually trade um, with the person here. I think it's Olga is her name. No, it's Susanna. She looks like Olga. So filthy as in my house just like my son's room, right? We've already heard that before. Was it you? I don't think it was you who sells the caterpillar poison. No, not you. She's selling vein molars? That's brutal. What do you have, though? How did you get those? It's you. Hello. Right. Let's do this quickly. It's like we're doing some shady shit. Yeah, see? Okay, so if we want to trade, we select the item we want, and then we have to give them something of equal or greater value. So 250 bucks? Uh, wow, all this is worth a lot, actually. <laughs> Do I got something like cheap? Um, oh yeah, like this. Okay, so this is actually a lot more than she's asking for, so she'll give us a bonus. So we got the caterpillar poison. Let's do this again sometime. I guess it wasn't enough. Hello? Right. Right. It's not a flower, silly. It's my daughter's name. Hello? Uh, okay. Right. Um. So we need one more. Let's go to this. Let's get something like uh, 250. Yeah, that's a perfect trade. Okay, cool. Wonderful. Sue it again sometime. Okay, so we have all the poison we need before we change tonight and uh, achievement lazy bones. <laughs> Is that for fast traveling a bunch? I bet. That's funny. That's funny. I wonder if that one quest will become available to us. Because I think after we complete this one, we'll have three star affinity in Colony 9. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure, actually. But yeah, we can actually further this quest line now that me and Ryan, or not me and Ryan, Shulk and Ryan are of higher uh, affinity. Nyreen wants me to do what? Take a look at you two boys? Why would she ask that? Oh, I get it. Check to see how good their friendship is. Hey, it's totally improved. Shulk and Ryan are looking much like real best friends now. I'm so jealous. I wish me and Nyreen were like that. But I guess boys are different. Can girls be best friends like that? I bet they can't, you know. If you think otherwise, prove it. Yeah, okay, so for the final bit of this quest, we have to get two female party members to have high affinity, just like me, uh, Shulk and Ryan are now. Yeah, so spoilers, we're going to meet another female party member. Thanks, Xenoblade. Jeez. Alright, so let's... Uh, let's go ahead and switch it to nighttime. Gotta find Keen Squeeze. Yeah, alright, so we have to meet up with him. Slip this in his pockets. There's Desiree again. Good old Desiree. With their broken ass watch. Oi. What's up? You again. I'm a busy man, you know. Time is money. What do you want? Oh, I know. Leopold's too chicken to come give me my money. Hello? Anybody in there? Cat guy, you telling us something? Blah. If you don't have anything to say, get on your bike. Go on, hop it. <laughs> I've heard that expression before. On your bike. Alley you. Oh, wow. He's really trying <laughs> to get over that ledge. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we've slipped the poison in his pocket. We're going to talk to Leopold's. And uh, he's going to frame him. And then he will be gone forever. We'll never be able to see that man ever again. I don't think he's required for anything else. Yes. He had the poison in his pocket right then. It's all set. I'll go and find it and make a big ugly scene in public. Then I can write the real story. An expose on his dodgy deals. Then Keen Squeeze is finished. I feel dirty. Should have seen his face. Now, he'll be off my back forever. I reckon things will be okay with my girlfriend, too. Now I'll be able to write without worrying about my pile of debt. Cheers. The worst possible outcome has been avoided. For that, we get the ranger shoes. Yeah, okay, so he got his revenge on him. Accomplices question mark, but now it's just endless love on their affinity chart connection. And that's why I went this route Because if you don't go this route, then they'll they'll have a happy green face and it will be like Like partners in crime or something and then this will say awkward Between these two and I forget what this says between these two. But yeah, this just seemed like the best route Um you guys still, you still don't like Sharla, huh? Sharla is 21 years old. She can actually buy Shulk and Ryan booze. Nah. I guess we're not at level 3 yet. I thought it'd be enough. Guess it was Ron. Ah, uh, cheese. Are you sure, game? There's just no way. I thought that was enough. Are you trying? I guess not. That's fine. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to do here. Alright, let's head back to the Bionis leg. Let's get there and uh, start tracking some quests. I'm actually not sure if we have anything to turn in. We might. It's raining. That looks so cool. That looks so sick. The lightning actually shows him. That's cool. That's so cool. Uh, okay, let's uh party. Go back to Charlotte. I really wish I had that gun. Wait, it's a thunderstorm. Eduardo. 
We have to go find Eduardo. Did he respawn? I did reload or save. As a giant turtle. Mount Torta. Yeah. That's cool. Did you see that? <laughs> I don't remember that always happens. I, I probably could fast travel, but I don't know if that would change it. Yeah, you see the other mini bosses right there. That's sick. Yeah, okay, let's uh, let's beat up Eduardo again. Or we could save Scum. I think I'll save Scum Eduardo. Yeah, we're a lot stronger now too, anyway. That is true. It is indeed true. Yeah, we. I think we have to get like one more Lake Antles. Lake Antles? Just Antles. I forget what they're actually called. I was thinking Lake because we're here. Uh, yeah, okay, this is perfect. Ragwall Lake. Oh, cool. I think these things will replace the uh, level 70 fish. It's good news for us. I like how the water looks when it's raining. It's really neat. Yeah, Eduardo only shows up during the rain. Oh, we gotta hurry before it freaking... It's, about, it's almost top of the hour. I think that's when it changes. Oasis. Eduardo. Okay, I was about to say you better showed up. Why Eduardo? Shoot him. Get him. Hurry. It's the top of the hour now. Don't change time. Damn it! <laughs> oh, oh, I had a quest item. Okay, well, that wasn't a waste of time. <laughs> I apparently needed some kind of a brog theme of some sort. Recovery up? Can I switch this with anything? It's not a unique. Yeah, no, I kind of need this, actually. Oh, no, I don't need the attack up. Yeah, that is true. Ether up to. Yes. That wasn't the one I wanted to take. I uh, probably down here. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I mean, it's a lot more physical defense. She doesn't really need it, though, is the thing. That's a little much, isn't it? <laughs> Do you think? It actually matches... It matches her arm theme. Blessed Bernadine. Breastplate inscribed with the symbol which Homs see as lucky. Huh. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna see if that works. It should work. So I won't make you sit through the Eduardo fight again. <laughs> okay, round two. Right, or round three, really. Third time's the charm, as they say. Yes! Okay, we got it. Nice. <laughs> I was not giving up. Let's remove this. Remove this. Yes. Wait, what? <laughs> it wasn't that? <laughs> what did I get? I got this. Oh. I'll lose both my slots. Damn, it's so much better than everything. Double attack two. I just replaced that. Replace strength. Uh, you know what I could do? I just find something with armor slots. Yeah. It's probably a good idea, actually. Ah, oh, no, that's not enough. That's too much. I'll be losing too much there. This is fine. This we can replace with our muscle up. I mean, it's a pretty sick weapon. It is. Um, I think it's probably in our best entrance to put it. God, that's uh, I didn't get it. <laughs> I didn't get it though. <laughs> I'm salty. All my characters look dumb. <laughs> All right, well, shit. I'll try it again. <laughs> I'll try it one more time because I'm stubborn and dumb. Ten thousand damage. We got calm shot, dude. Got calm shot again. <laughs> Steady arm. This thing for Ryan. 
built in strength of three. Ah, oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty good actually. Let's get rid of this strength up for my muscle up there. Yeah, I think the defense is a little more important. I mean, we did get a strength of three, which is pretty good. Ah, oh, we're getting upgraded. Okay, fine. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm going to be here all day in this stupid ass thing from Eduardo, everyone. All right, let's see. What do we need now? Oh, we still got a lot, a lot of stuff going on here. I'm out here farming for guns. Yeah, I think we need to uh, hit up those ant holes. Trying to think of what I need to do to trigger that one quest. I'm not sure. Whatever it is we're looking for, it's right here. Hi there. Oh, it's Ernest. Checked it out, it was just a normal ether deposit. Then a load of monsters came out. Hmm. Weird. That should have that shouldn't have happened. No need to moan, though. You made it out all right, didn't you? Anyone can make a mistake, right? So I suppose you did go. Here's a reward for you. Hi there. All right. Sorry about last time. Did you ever find any everlasting ether deposits? I'm here to listen. What? Taking your time, ain't you? I had a look at the records. Now I know where it really is. I can tell you if you want to know. What you looking at me like that for? Everyone makes mistakes. This time I really know. But we all know what happened last time. I can't just trust you. You're really not lying this time. I weren't even lying before. I just got it wrong, didn't I? You can trust me. I like to say I can, but... Well, whatever. I ain't gonna force you. Do whatever you like. Brilliant. You know what makes sense. It's in the cave southeast of the bridge. The cave's at water level. So you might have to get a bit wet. You can count on us. We'll get it done. Ernest. Yeah, that's right. There is some over there in the area we can collect. This game has a problem if you have an optional quest and you have the item required to complete one section of it, you will automatically complete that section of that way. Yeah. And I think um, an upcoming theme here is kind of like that. Yeah, we have to turn something in here, I believe. And it certainly looks like it. Oh yeah, Elwyn. How's it going? No doubt about it, those are sour gooseberries. I'll use them, these, to prepare the ink. It won't take me long to mix the paints up. Uh, wait here a moment. Shock. That's it, all done. There should be enough paints. Sorry to ask, but could you give the paints to Metronia? I, um, would do it myself, but I can't really face her right now. Please, it's best... You hand them over to her. Well, I better get back to Rain. Me. Oh, are they for me? A letter and some paints, and they're from Evan. What a pleasant surprise. I'll be needing these paints to draw pictures for the book. How thoughtful of him. I spoke quite harshly of him earlier, but I see I spoke too soon. Edwin and I will endeavor to make a wonderful book together. I want to show it to everyone when it's ready, not just Palma. Recently, that's how I feel. Those feelings encourage me to work hard. Give Ewen my thanks when you see him. Okay. Matriona liked them, right? Really? Couldn't have done it without you to give me the nudge I needed. Please accept this as a token of my appreciation. Good. It was our pleasure. Right. We're helping make things better a bit at a time. Couldn't agree more, Ryan. Now that I think about it, you're actually... Um, never mind. With a quill in my hand and a whiff of ink in the air, I feel alive again. I'm truly grateful. I can feel the power. 
Congratulations, you two. Hmm. That well, looks pretty cool. Oh, it's better for you, Shulk. But you have agility up. A couple minor stats, not worth. Rather have the agility. Yeah, I think we actually had to do those. Me. I have some excellent news. The picture book for Palma should be finished soon. How exciting. It's still not perfect quite yet, but I'd like you to take a look. It's about a river spirit that grants a wish to a sad boy named Palma. Oh, River Spirit. River Spirit? Palma come to play. What? Wah! Palma drowning! Glub Glub, help! Palma? I think this might tempt Palma to go and play in the river. That does sound dangerous. I suppose you're right. I'll have to edit my picture to not give Palma any silly ideas. To do that, I'll need a lake drop. Lake drops make a unique pigment, perfect for painting over things. They're extremely rare. Might be lucky and find some at Ragwall Lake, though. Oh my, I feel so frail and weak. If I had some medicine, I could get better and look after Palma. What now? Something in the matter. Just be careful out there, okay? That's right. Oh, hello. Give Palma a picture book. What a delightful thought. He looks so sad recently, I would certainly cheer him up. I wish I could be with him all the time, but I have this ailment. I need my medical herb tonic or I'll just keep getting worse. But my medicine, I could be with Palma wherever he goes. Ah, oh, and then we wouldn't have to edit it. Is that what that means? I'll collect a medical herb near a tranquil grotto on the Bionis slide. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> I did not mean to trade with you, ma'am. Yeah, I certainly want to do that. I certainly want to do that. I know that the lake theme is here, and also the theme for Ernest is here. It all kind of... You do all these together here. All the mech on should be back, too. Mm, I don't think if we grab it, the quest will... And right away. No, these are named NPCs. Yeah, that's right. But yeah, the thing we need, the lake drop. Oh, check it out. There's like a item on the ground over here. Is that what I'm looking for? Oh, no. Yeah, no. That's the uh, quest item. I'm tripping. <laughs> We've been playing Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition for so long. <laughs> I really love this game. Okay, we got the medical herb. So she should be much better. We also got a Humming Plum. This one's a little tricky to get. We have to like drop down the right way. Oh, like right here. I died. Ah, shit. Charla. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> I thought we would have to drop on the ledge or something. Oh, I'm known as Fear of Heights. Must have been awful. Oh, look at that. that dude, this game looked nice. This game looked real nice. <laughs> I'm starting to... Oh, do you want to go Eduardo another round? I don't think so, Pixel Chicks. No one wants to see that. Well, I'm going to edit out those other fights. Yeah. This is where we get the late drop. Yeah. Oh, it just confused me. I don't know if these are like interconnected because we got access to the other quest before because we started the other quest. So I don't know if they affect each other. Probably not. Now that I think about it, there's no reason they would. Well, here's the thing. If she can go everywhere where Palma goes, then we won't have to edit the picture. Yeah. Dude, she's never going to give up, dudes. You, you should be more like Sharla. He was right, dudes. This is the one. It's just another ordinary ether deposit, though. No! It's a salt flammy. This one actually attacked us. Okay. It's 
about to say, Charlotte, are you gonna do the moves? Or <laughs> felt like I asked you to do? Oh, we're debuffed to see. There you go, buddy. Ah, oh, this thing's no joke. We're like five levels higher than it. That's a nasty debuffs. Well done. Large water crystal. Dude, it looks like Ernest was lying. Look this totem thing. It looks funny. Yeah, okay, that's just about everything here. First, let's go ahead and make it so she feels better. Is that the medical herb? You found one for me. Yes, but something bad will happen. Don't let him go near anywhere near a river. Got it. I'll keep a close eye on him and make sure he stays close to camp. Really do care about Palma, don't you? Rest assured, he's safe with me. Don't worry yourself anymore. I heard Matriona and Elwyn made a picture book for Palma. How kind of those two lovebirds. Now don't tell them I said that. I've known those two for years. They'd make a lovely couple. Now Matriona has been concerned for Palma as well. But I'm right as rain now. You can tell Matriona that I'm fit to look after the boy from now on. Yeah, okay, so now she won't have to edit it. Me. Arda said what? Well, I can't argue with that then. I'm glad it all turned out okay in the end. Picture book is finished. We can pr present it to Palmen now. I know he'll be thrilled with it. It'd be great for the two of them to enjoy reading it together. Alright, let's give this to, uh, Palma. Hey, Palma. What? Friends looking for Palma? This picture book for Palma. Matriana and Edwin made it, Kit. Thank you. Palma always treasured this book. Palma, get Granny Pawn Arda to read it to me. Everyone here so kind. That's so cute. I'm freaking dying from that. <laughs> that actually killed me on the inside. <laughs> it's so sweet. It's so sad. <laughs> that actually killed me. Jesus. Ugh. My heart. Okay, let's uh, talk to good old Ernest here. Hi there. What? So just normal crystals? Monsters appear again? Huh. Looks like I got it wrong again. The one fails from time to time, ain't that right? So you figure it out, I'm having yawn. The problem is, you're too trusting. Anyway, I had a laugh. You deserve a little something. Hi there. Ain't you had enough? You're a glutton for punishment. Oh yeah, I got some I really need you uh, to help me out with. There's a grave on the cliff north of... Kesharpa Falls. Do you know whose it is? Here, listen. Yeah, what's the story? So you don't know then? It's my friend's grave. Can you put these flowers on it? Probably don't believe me, but I'm telling the truth this time. Never mind. I've lied to you twice already. No way you'll believe me. I do. I can see in your eyes. I can't be a hundred percent sure, but it feels like you're telling me the truth this time. Really? You really believe me? Hmm. What's this? Feeling a bit guilty. Don't be like that. I'm sure you had reasons for lying when you did. But I believe what you're saying now. You mentioned the flowers for the grave, right? Will you do this for us? Place the flowers in the grave. Do you really trust me now? Thanks, but don't go trust me too much. Put the flowers in the grave on the cliff near Kasharpa Falls. Watch out for turkins. It was one of those things that... Never mind. And count on us. We'll get it done. Don't forget about me, Sharla. Now let's get this sorted together. Of course. I know you'll do it or die trying, Ryan. I'm counting on you. Okay. 
we gotta do the turpentine too. Oh my god, look at this. We're almost done. Except for cave. Wait, what? Didn't I do this already? <laughs> Did I not do this? I didn't pick this up. I totally forgot about this. <laughs> the quest at the beginning of the game. <laughs> or the beginning, <laughs> beginning of the story, dude. Yeah, it's so dumb. <laughs> um, we can just fast travel back there now. I hope. How do we get back there? Jabu? Maybe Jabu's resting spot. <laughs> I totally forgot about this damn thing. Yeah, it's right. I was a little preoccupied by the cutscene, I guess. I thought for sure. I, I think it's like a topple resist gem. It's somewhat situational. It's like a rank 2 topple resist gem from what I remember. Yeah, I typically don't use like the like status things that like heal. Here's all the people that we got the quest from. I can't believe I didn't grab this. Like a fool. <laughs> After making such a big deal out of it to start it, the quest with it. Yeah. That's right. That's right, the little load screen right here. It is pretty impressive. Like, the load screens are really fast. Like, when you fast travel from one place to another, like, even in the original, they were good. Technically, this place is Tefra Cave. Like, when. The stuff I'm picking up here, this is all stuff you find in Tefra Cave. Of course. <laughs> I did pick it up. I'm such a fool. Uh, okay, let's see if Charlotte has anything to say about this, actually. Looks like there's something buried here. Yeah, this is the thing we got from the guy at the beginning of the video. Top of Resist 2, I was right. That's too funny. That one got a fast shovel. Tripping. Okay. Oh. Where is this gonna take us, actually? Begin here? Nice. Hey, it's daytime now. How nice. Okay, we can get back on track now. Yeah, we're almost done with the side quest. Wow, I feel like I went by so fast. I've been having fun. That's right. Where do we go for this? Oh, it's pretty far away, huh? Gonna fast travel around. Here we go. I think this might lead us to our first secret area. Yeah, I think so. There's another level 70, one of those. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Oh, okay, we're fine. There's a lot of them, though. Charlotte did nothing wrong. <laughs> Leave her be. Because they're very territorial. Do you guys mind? I'm pretty stronger than you. <laughs> yeah, they're just gonna let me in. <laughs> I think there's a unique fight here, too. It's probably going to be pretty easy at this point. Yeah. It's guard talk. <laughs> Even the guard. Normally, this guy's supposed to see us and go and pull all all the people here. But we're so high level, like, we walk right past him. He's like, I'm not even going to bother. But yeah, that's normally what that guy does. Gentleman Turkin. Okay, we got the clothes. It's the boss. Let's get the done and dirty, okay? Let's go ahead and cure bullet Ryan. Just get the debuff resist going on, just in case. Oh, look at that man go. What happened to all your buffs? All at the same time, huh? We're literally taking zero damage. That actually might be because of the shields. 
Yeah, that's right. We gotta level up our arts. Yeah, you see, they have the chain attack thing just like we do. See? They have the chain attack lines. The red ones. Isn't that funny? It's kind of funny, really. Get some big damage on this man. Go on. 14,000 damage. Fantastic job. Fantastic job. Nice. Yeah, these boys do not care. Uh, is there anything else we need to hear? <laughs> we just walk around them. Yeah, let's uh, check out our arts. Learn anything? Oh, dude, she learned heat bullet. I love the idea of Tranquilizer, I really do. But I kind of like Heat Bullet a lot. This will actually release a special Ether Bullet that increases the tension of the party. And tension is really important, it like uh, increases your chance to crit and stuff. And it reminds me of Corrin. That like just the outline of it, it reminds me of Corrin. Male Corrin from Fire Emblem. I do not know why. Let's get to level 4. Heal bullets. What next? Let's cool down. More tension. Hmm. I think... Uh, I don't think it's really worth leveling this up. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot more damage. It's actually a sizable amount, but I kind of like Thunderbolt a lot more. Yeah. Yeah, like I use metal burst just to inflict break and that's all it will last longer. That is true I'm gonna go with that for now I'm gonna be is maxed out for the time being Berserker, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that Yeah, I'm trying to raise up Charlotte's affinity with Ryan and Shulk. That's why we're playing her just her and only her today but wild down I think I will shulk or slash backslash engine 20 enchant level 3 70 seconds I think I will I think I will now what the monsters. Okay, we gotta return to him. We train a harmony near the North Pole of Spirit Valley by Annas Lake. Upper Where is this? How do we get to this? I know where to go for that. That's the final three. Yeah, how do we get to this? As a matter of fact. It's a good question. Just the edge, huh? See how isn't that nice? That is so what a trip that must be. <laughs> Just living on, on dead bodies. <laughs> like two giant... Oh, help. Hopefully I do not... Oh, come on. I, I just really wanted to fill out the map there. Where are we going for this? Up there, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. We want to return to Gorman. Let's return to Gorman first, actually. Yeah. Sure. Uh huh. It's not here. He's the guy who won the close. Yeah, I know. That's right. That was at nighttime, I believe. It was too late. Or maybe it was there. I just didn't even notice it. That could be a possibility. Who's this? Brought her clothes back. No more fretting over garments. Good. It was our pleasure. We oldies and kids could never have done this by ourselves. We really appreciate what you've done. Take this tiny token as thanks. Grand armor and grand leggings. How's that look on you, my guy? Oh, I kind of, you know... 
it's kind of cool. Grand leggings. Ah, uh, this is a lot worse. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. No, you definitely look like a tank. You, Ryan definitely looks like a tank now, huh? He certainly does. <laughs> what a gnarly game what? this is, dude. <laughs> it really is. Air Sniper. Yeah, it's good. Stream Edge. We're swing. Heal bullets. Guard chef. Oh, I should have bought the books. Colony 9 while I had the chance. Such a fool of. Okay, so that's learned. They've studied up. I don't know how to get there. I don't know. There's two secret areas, too. Ah, oh, how did I get to the other one? I forget. Is this the place you were on about? This is it, all right. At the end of the road, there's a path to Colony 6. But there's no sign of Juju. If my vision was right... He should be around here somewhere. I'm sure he would have gone along this road. I just hope nothing's happened to him yet. Any chance he went up that way? It's not safe around here. I doubt Juju would go off the beaten track if he could avoid it. Got it. We'll search along the road. Hmm. Yeah. I can't really check the map. Oh, where does this go? Where does this take us? I don't know. I think there's really strong enemies here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Windy Cave. Any aggressive ones? Royal Caterpillar? Royal Caterpillar. Sound based enemies. I'm assuming their aggro range is pretty high since they're high level. Not too bad, it seems. Uh, yeah, those guys will destroy us. Just absolutely destroy us. Wow, we made it somehow. Tempest Veins, not aggressive. Where's the bolt? Hmm. Just random light wisps. I believe up there is where the story bit is. What the hell is this? It's just caterpillar. Don't be afraid of the caterpillar, me. Oh, you know what? I think I read that wrong. Uh, yeah, I totally did, didn't I? That was the end of the cave. I I'm pretty sure we have to go there for something. This might be the quest. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> that sucks. It's right there. That's right. Okay, well, we came all the way down here. Let's, uh... <laughs> it sucks. Yeah, let's continue on. On this. There's an item we need to get in this cave. That's right. That's right. It's coming back to me. For a quest here. Okay, if, if we make noise... These things will hatch more giant monkeys and they'll kill us. <laughs> yeah, these eggs will turn into those giant monkeys that we see walking around uh, by on his leg. So we gotta be careful. This thing's a sound based monster. Mysterious Barnaby. Uh huh. Alright, let's wake it up. I want to show it off. Did you see? That was kind of cool. I guess because we went away, it didn't fully hatch. Ah, it's fine. Whatever. 
<laughs> we'll, we'll eventually someday be back there and fight those fiends in the egg. We yeah, actually will. Sometime way, way in the future. I'm serious Barnaby, everyone. <laughs> yeah, that one spider lays eggs and they become giant monkeys. <laughs> um, but yeah, we did need that item for an upcoming quest, so we saved a lot of time by grabbing that. Yeah, that's true. Pandora Pod. Been here. Is this where we came from? No. I don't know if there's any making out of this this spot we're in. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe. This would. I mean, we could fast shovel out. Um. Oh, well, it looks like we made it, huh? Where does this go, though? Is this where we came from? Oh, uh, yeah, it certainly is, huh? Yeah, it totally is. Okay, that's fine. That works. Right. Right. How do we get up there, though? Up there. Maybe we did want to go that way. Hmm. Well, you know what? While we're here, let's uh, continue down the path and grab that fast travel location. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Because we will... This is pretty much the final area of the Gower Plains that we're uh, wrapping up here. Macon. Party. Oops. Depending on the order, like number two will go second in the chain attack, right? So yeah, it's cool. Another way you can fully customize your uh, character. Scott Shulk, you're so slow. <laughs> uh, strength up, where's that? Quick step. Do your worst, McCon. Queen Locus. Poor Ryan. <laughs> He's all slow. He's the only one without a quick step jam equipped. Wow, look how nice this is. What is this? I don't remember this. I do not remember this. I don't know. I don't think we go here. We don't. Not for the story. But not for the fast travel location I'm looking for. Mellow Sardi. You know what I'm looking for. Is a fast travel location we get right here. Yeah. appeared on the Monado. Can I save her? Of course you can. Shoot! Its tentacles could come out from under the ground at any second. One false move and you're done for. Wait for my order. Ryan, you got my back? Of course. Leave it to me.
could do that. It's not me. It's the power of the Monado. That's right. And the light swirling around us. That's the Monado and all. Shala, let's move. Fantastic, bro. <laughs> That looked so dumb. That was a really well-made cutscene. That's the one they use for all the trailers. Okay, so Shulk has learned the speed Monado. Okay, let's focus on these tentacles first. We still have to buff our friends. So they are able to hit mech on. Oh, not Buster me. <laughs> I meant to buff them. Okay, this is apparently the back of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't worry, I'll enchant them soon. I promise. <laughs> enchant. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Let them join in. Okay, so speed Monado. Will increase the chance of dodging physical attacks. Yeah, this is a, like so. If you get a vision, and in the future you you see when your allies are like going to be taken out by a physical attack, you buff them with speed. If it's a talent art, you buff them with shield. So yeah, that's how that works. Let's go ahead and Buster Mech on M seventy one. This is just the best game, dude. <laughs> it's just the best game. Nope. Sorry, buddies. Just here for the fast travel location for now. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll be going after that thing later. It's gonna be very anticlimactic. We're just gonna see it just trolling about the entire time. The music is still going. A big brog. <laughs> How long does this go on for? No way. Does the music just continue on as long as we're... As long as we're not there? There's just no way. It's not how it works. <laughs> Let's see. I need to know. <laughs> it's just, just going to be playing epic music epically the whole time now. Or every time we go to the fast travel location. No, okay, <laughs> to say. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's head to uh, the guy's friend's grave and uh, pay respects. Yeah, and then a monster will show up. But yeah, that's Ernest's little side thing. There's so many, so many little stories to be told, to be told between Palmas book, Ernest's side quests. Like, there's so much going on. Yeah, this thing. Oh, okay, this is this guy. Another challenge. God, it feels so weird to be playing Shulk again. Oh, oof. Backslash. Let's focus on this, boyos. <laughs> nice input, Shulk. Let's see how speed looks. He got he kinda looks like when Cloud gets his limit in Smash Ultimate. Got that blue thing going on. Yeah, kinda, huh? Oh, dude, it was a nice attack, dude. If I'm so jarring that it goes to normal battle music when the uniques fall. But there's like still ads. It's so very strange. Gone. Dude, freaking decimated, bro. It's so good. 
Yo, leave Charlotte alone though. She did nothing wrong. It's just it's just called gore. <laughs> Three slides. That was a lot. Ten physical defense. We can make it up with the muscle up. I already had the muscle up equipped. As a matter of fact. Yeah, no, we'll hold on to this for now until we get better gems. We didn't get the theme for Charlotte, did we? <laughs> we got another calm shot. And <laughs> this one without a slot. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> that's such a that's such a fuck you pixel tricks moment right there. <laughs> Is this better? Days resist. Oh, it's right, but I kept it because of the slot. Ah. It's true. Fine, everything's fine, does matter. Yeah, it doesn't. Um, okay, yeah. How's this skill tree looking? Still haven't got it, huh? Almost. How about this? I actually got what I wanted here weapon damage plus increased attack power of equipped weapon. Agility up at the start with higher level enemies. Yeah, how about skill links? Anything cool? Anything new? I don't think so. I don't think anyone has really learned any skills. And check it out, he's got an additional thing here because Shulk and Ryan's affinity has increased. Oh, increased max HP for Shulk. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, so it was worth checking. Nice. Nice. Wow, that looks cool too. Earnest Solitude. Yeah, that should be at like the very corner. Wow. <laughs> I really love how this looks. This really is so cool. It, it just feels like a grandiose adventure, huh? When you look at something like this. Yeah, if only the render distance on the grass like it's not bothering me at all but I know it's the f it's definitely the first thing you notice when you look at gameplay of Gower Plains and that sucks because it's such a beautiful area besides that but it's so noticeable wait what what have I done To this day, I still find themes in the original Xenoblade beautiful. Yeah, I think a lot of the areas still look nice, so it doesn't bother me at all. Yeah, no. This game is great. It's Ernest's friend's grave. Let's place the flowers. What's going on here? It's the one that killed his friend. No, arrogant Turkin. Oh shit, there's a mosquito in my room. Fuck! Damn it, Charlotte, Ryan, take care of that thing. Get out of here! Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, I'm dying. Alright, thank God for Ryan and Charlotte. <laughs> I think I could pause during that. Speed you. Just because. Not really a reason. This song, dude. This is this dreary music. This thing has a lot of health. Okay, so we got Revenge for Ernest. Let's 
Let's go back to, um... To our girl here, huh? Yeah. Okay, cool. So now, will the music start when I fast travel here? No. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> I wonder if I actually didn't reload, if the music would just kept going. Yeah, okay, there are actually one... I know, we're almost done. <laughs> As you can see, there's one more quest uh, that we start here that has a couple... A couple of chain quests, uh, about three, but one of the items that we picked up in that cave uh, was for this, and I think we should just finish one of them right away. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Unfortunately, there's not like a fast travel location here. That's why I picked up the one uh, back there. Yeah. Traveler's Rest. Came just in time. Gero Uga, lost friend. How worrying. Yeah, it does sound quite bad. Garuga. Garugu. Really worried. He won't look for food for dinner, but he not come back yet. Do you have any idea where he could have gone? Garugu. Tell him not to go too far. He'll always get lost. Garugu. Think he go very far. He has no sense of direction. He's probably completely lost. Garugu already looked so hard, but Garugu cannot find him. Please help Garugu find friend. Okay, we got to find his friend. Thank you, Garugu. Happy now. Friend's name, Batu Batu. He blew with step fur. I'm counting on us. We'll get it done. Don't forget about me, Charlotte. Now let's get this story together. Of course. I know you'll do it or die trying. Isn't that white, Ryan? Bleh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we got to find this little Nopon's friend. I would do that. I'm not entirely sure. So we just find it. Yeah, uh, the lost snow pond. Where's that boy? No, he's still pretty far away. I don't know. Must be on the other side. That's right. That's right. Just follow the patch. Just be safe. At this point, I usually have already found the first secret area. So I'm like a little confused, like where did I go wrong to not find it yet? <laughs> but yeah, you can see that mech on we're just fighting with the tentacles up there, which is kind of cool, huh? It is cool that they give you the option to uh, just kind of walk away from it afterwards. Just so if you want to complete all the side quests, we need to stop by Ernest too and tell him. That, uh, we took care of that turkey for him. Poor Juju is so dead at this point. <laughs> it has been multiple days. Just been chilling in the Gower Plains. Got more mech on here. I really don't want to look up where the secret area is. I usually just come across it when I'm, like, exploring. We got a thing here. Category completes bind resist two and winding gear. Strength up two. I'm missing one thing. A bug that that's gonna bug me. I'm sorry. Hatoro, please be the bug. Just be it. <laughs> Oh my god, I could have went there the whole time. I'm such a fool. No, we need to get up there. Poor K. I think I might have taken a wrong turn here. You know what? Let's head back to the refugee cab really fast. Yeah. Talk to Ernest. Oh, look at that. They're having a good time. Granny Pine 
are duh better now. So Palma play with her every day. Ah, nice. Um, yeah, Ernest. Where's that man? Over here. Oh, he's down here. What is this thing? I guess it's the transportation vehicle. Transportation vehicle? I mean, yeah. So a monster rushed you when you put the flowers down. I knew he'd be there. Did you take him down? Can't thank you enough. It's finally over. Someone lied to me and my friend that there were crystals there. We went, but there was nothing. Then on the way back, we were jumped by a turkin. My friend died to protect me. Still gives me nightmares. I haven't been able to trust anyone since. But you trusted me and went to put the flowers on his grave. You even got revenge from my friends. Thanks. I really mean it. Good. It was our pleasure. Yeah, it feels good to do a good deed. Here's a little something f from me and him. I can oh, yeah. all the power I'm talking about. You guys both learn arts at the same time? What'd you get, Ryan? Last stand, there's an aura that when equipped will fully, will, not fully, it will revive Ryan from death. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. I don't know if that, like, it sounds really good. It'll be active for 15 seconds, 120 second cooldown, which is the longest one we've seen so far. The revival fills the party gauge by 50. This is like, this makes him like the ultimate comeback character. Like, that sounds ridiculous. Shaker Edge. Slash enemy inflicting days. Yeah, so check it out. Uh, Shulkin days now. Just really dope, actually. That is really cool. We have to figure out how to get up here. I could have sworn the secret area that I'm thinking about, like, had something to do with the Turkin HQ. Or something. I thought. No, you know what? I think I just found it just by wandering around. Because there's, like, more than one. It might be connected to this. This might lead to what I'm looking for. Maybe. That's so dope. Well, I suppose we could pick up some of these orbs along the way. White sun bird. How ridiculous. What a concept. Apparently a lot of people never knew what the Collectopedia was. <laughs> like, until this playthrough. They're like, I can't believe that was a thing. <laughs> I played this whole game and never used the Collectopedia once. <laughs> I really got a kick out of that, yeah. Yeah, look at this place, dude. What is this? Finding gear. This is so. I don't. Th I don't remember this. <laughs> I do know the secret areas are on the very like top of uh, the Gower Plains. Yeah, like the very top. Sky Stage. What's the problem? It's a bug. It is. Might as well check. Bomber. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't think it's here, bro. Not the secret stage. We might be able to get to that no pond. Oh yeah, this is this is how we get to the no pond. At least there's that. That's true. Starting to rain. This way. This is how we get to the secret area. I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're going to take a little detour here. Yeah. This is it. Okay, we did find it. I totally remember. Okay, there are things in Xenoblade Chronicles 
called secret areas. When you find them, you get a lot of experience and um, it's a lot of good stuff. Yeah, like AP, SP, all that good stuff. Yeah, they're just cool little things, you know. Like it's it, it's so fun finding one. Okay, you see that red orb? You do not want to try to get that red orb at your current level. I'm just going to tell you now. Let's just leave it at that for now. <laughs> we'll be back here for that red orb someday. Yeah, that's right. Mementos of Lost Sun. That's for this. Okay, we just have one more to go for that too. So we only have one more to go for this and one more to go with that. That's cool. This is our very first secret area ever. Six hundred experience, one hundred seventy-six AP. What was that? Sixty-four SP. That's cool. Yeah, there you go. That's pretty much uh, all there is to it. We get a nice nifty fast travel location just to, you know, come here, have a look. It's thunderstorming. What do you say? One more hit, Eduardo? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I need to go back and find that no pawn. <laughs> yeah. the hell are you dark hawks <laughs> you look so dumb you look like that one like squirrel pokemon that was released in gen 8 oh <laughs> yeah i like the ability to be able to explore in this game and not really have to worry about like running into a level 70 thing for the most part like sometimes you'll still get destroyed queen lotus i'm pretty sure we already had that yeah Doksha Pod. Yeah, okay, so that little Nopong goon should be right here. Yeah, okay, and I'll actually be able to show off the, uh, the, the mine, too. That's right, they're right next to it. Yeah, okay, there's like a really big ether deposit. It's nothing too special. It's just a giant thing of crystals in which we can harvest for, uh, Gem crafting and what have you. What a ride. What a day. What a sesh. I've had fun. This is not going to be fun to edit. <laughs> Batu Batu is out on adventure. I'm having a good time finding food. Guru Goo looking for me. Batu Batu make Guru Goo worry. When Batsu Batsu having a good time, he forget about everything else. Batsu Batsu will always get lost. Batsu Batsu will always make trouble. I go back soon. You come too. Okay, so he will return to his friend now. Ow. Yeah, this is what I was talking. <laughs> what was that sound effect? Yeah, this is the uh, giant ether crystal deposit here. Wind to ether deposit. I'm exhausted. It becomes like dark. Did I get everything? Still kind of like glowing. Um, okay. Fine. <laughs> but yeah, this is heat bullet. Use it and it'll create the AoE effect that will affect all the teammates surrounding it. And as you can see, their portraits got a little different because they have higher tension now. God damn it. <laughs> Does he even drop from him? Like, I could have sworn. I could have sworn. Alright, well, well, screw it. 
<laughs> the meme will live on. That's one meme that will never die. The dumbass Charla gun that I never will get. I'm gonna come back when I'm level 80 and try to farm for it again. <laughs> if I get it, I'll use it for the rest of the game. <laughs> It'll be so horribly terrible for me. Why are you level 73, by the way? Bird friend. I got Matt Ice. <laughs> Wait, what? Why is that a leaf? <laughs> Matt Ice? I have no clue. I don't want to mess with that thing. <laughs> Did you jump in the thing? <laughs> Sometimes the AI will just jump off cliffs. It's so funny, dude. Your girl is happy, but to butt to back. Your girl is so happy. He asked you to help him. Good, it was our pleasure. Right, it was well worth the effort. But to butt to never ever leave your girl ever again. You're a girl. Thank you so much. What do we get for that? Point rifle. S tier. Tell me about this night point rifle, okay? Uh huh. It's pretty shit. <laughs> yeah, it is. What's about to want to thank friends? I know you good. Can you help me thank friends? Do you know about No Pawn Secret Present? I'm here to listen. Yeah, what's the story? So I tell you. Need a chocolate egg to make No Pawn Secret Present. Also need Pandora Mushroom. Batu Batu want you to help. It's all very sudden. Well, you give your friends. Batu Batu make something when he bring... You bring egg and mushroom. Then I give to friends. Sounds like a good idea. I'm sure they'll be happy. Batu Batu think you can easily get these things. Can you help Batu Batu? I certainly can Batu Batu. I think can find Tokla's eggs in Tokla's nest near Zack's guidepost. I see Pandora mushroom Winnie K before. Thank you so much. You count on us. We'll get it done. I try to leave it to us. Yeah, okay. So it was a little mistaken. Uh, we do have to get one more theme for that. But that's perfectly all right. With much gratitude. But yeah, that, um, that thing that we found in the cave with, like, the level 70, <laughs> level 77 monsters in it and shit, that was, uh, that was for this quest, yeah. Oh, you see that thing? Is that a fast travel location? Uh, I don't think so. I'm saying because typically these, like, stone monuments create fast travel locations. A bunch of turkins here. A little stronger ones, though. I know they'll hang out with a really strong one. Yeah, it totally is. I didn't know. Didn't have to progress the story at all. That's fine. But yeah, isn't that cool that Xenoblade Chronicles, like, will show whatever you're wearing, like, in the cutscene? There's so many combinations of items. I don't know. I just found that, like, really impressive. Like, there's so much... And, like, even in the nice cutscenes, not just, like, the, you know, like in-game cutscenes but like the nice ones and everything looks great like wow and it loads so fast it's just ridiculous so much that's like so dope about this game i'm failing menuing it right now it's probably about zach's got i think this is a little faster yeah i probably could have just went up the vines <laughs> realistically speaking but that's all right It's rainy day here in the Gower Plains, everyone. Yeah, right. Okay, so we'll turn this in. And unless my memory's correct. Yeah, that's the final one. After this, we'll have one more after this, but it's really easy. Yeah. Damn it. I was having a good time. <laughs> it really was. We actually got through this. Sorry this came out so late. I am trying to, uh, like for this area, I wanted to kind of like route everything out. And I feel like it came together pretty well in the end. 
It's a little sloppy sometimes. Why are you guys hanging around by these turkins? Do I not have everything? I apparently didn't get everything. No. What a mess. I don't want to trade with you at all. I'll trade with you at all, sir. Okay, I'll follow the thing. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, I don't know. Didn't I get the winning mushroom? I did get the mushroom. Really? What did I grab in the cave then? So that's good in here, huh? Yeah, that's right. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, they're fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, that's right. Hmm. We did pick that up, didn't we? Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think they have enough time to really hatch and do anything terrible to us. I don't think so. Yeah, we have plenty of time. Wait a minute, I thought we grabbed this. Didn't we? Um. Oh, Charla. Tempest Fane. <laughs> Did I not grab it at all like a scrub? Am I that tired? <laughs> Did I just like Yeah, it was here. I apparently didn't grab it because I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh my god. If I grabbed like a, a blue orb thinking that was it, I'm so dumb. <laughs> I thought I'd grab this. We meet again, mysterious Barnaby. Uh, collect Pino? Aw, uh, that would have been the cherry on top. That would have been the cherry on top. That would have made my day. Uh, we want to go to the upper level of the Gower Plains. <laughs> I feel so dumb now. <laughs> I probably look so dumb now. Batu, Batu. I mean, Plum. Well, we're certainly picking up a lot of stuff that we can trade. Some of this is worth a lot of money, too. I feel like, even though I'm doing all the side quests, I, I still am pretty broke. Like, if I buy all the arts books, it's pretty much everything, all the money I have. Wow, you find for me now. Batsu Batsu can give present to friends. <laughs> See right there for a sec. Good, it was our pleasure. Right, it was well worth the effort. Yikes, you ham ham that helped Batsu Batsu. Batsu Batsu asked friends to look for materials for own gifts. Ham ham, all look same to Batsu Batsu. That's racist. Batsu Batsu should to look at ham ham faces more careful next time. That's <laughs> incredibly racist. <laughs> oh, we got Spike. Guru Goo. Need help again. Butts, butts are gone again. How worrying. Yeah, it's definitely ain't good. Guru Goo scared. Butts, butts are still not come back. He wants to thank you, so go out himself to find present. Again? What's he playing at? Why did you take your eyes off him? Gurugu needs to watch Batsubatsu every second in every day. 
but Tsubatsu always get lost and never listen to what Gerugu say. You're amazing. There aren't many like you around. Maybe I had the nope on all on. He was telling me about beautiful flower he went to get. It on top of a big waterfall. Maybe that where Batsubatsu is. Can you go find him for me? Oh, thanks, man. Guru Guru, no. You can do it. You can count on us. We'll get it done. Don't forget about me, Charlotte. Now let's get this sorted together. Of course. I know you'll do it or die trying. Okay. <laughs> The final quest! The final quest that's available for us to complete. This is it. Nice. We'll finish it during the day. How nice. How cool. Oh, can I not go over there? Oh, that sucks. Brave Turkin, huh? Does it look so brave to me? Ranger Turkin. Yeah, you gotta be careful around these guys. Some of them have, like, level 70s that are aggressive around them, too. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. I need all of this. I need all, I need all the bugs. I still believe. There's still time. We could find it. We technically could. Ah, <sighs> what a day. Up there, huh? Yeah. That's so cool. I'm so glad I was able to show up both secret places here. That's cool. <laughs> but to but to come to get flower called Ether Wisdom. But there are lots of monsters just now, so I could not go. Batsu Batsu wants to give you present, but no can do. I know, you can get flower for me. Batsu Batsu need present, thank friend. Yeah, I think there's sniper Turk. Yeah, brave Turkins guarding the uh, the secret place here. <laughs> These guys aggro us. Level 17? Nah. He's up here, huh? Yeah, I guess so. This is like a perfect cherry on top for the day right here, actually. Yeah, this is actually the perfect way to end this. I'm glad we ended it with this quest because it leads to this, like, big moment right here. <laughs> Believer's Paradise. It is cool. It certainly is. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and turn in this uh, final side quest and we will be done for the day. We'll be right outside of... Uh, the area to our next story progression moment we'll have an, a boss fight pretty much right off the bat next time and yeah we'll just get right on with the story yeah what a sesh though huh 
I think it's pretty cool how a lot of these stories all kind of interconnect. So look at this. Yeah, look how deep this goes. Interested. Kind person. Pitiful. A customer. Great person. Kind person. Are you interested? Oh yeah, I guess it's the same thing. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, the affinity charts. It's a hell of an idea, huh? Hell of a concept. It certainly is. Oh, do we have to, uh, we have to go back there, huh? I guess so. Just wanted to make sure. Well, if you made it this far, thanks for hanging out with me on this long sesh today. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. This ether wisdom, such a beautiful flower, Batsubatsu will be so happy. Batsubatsu use it to thank friends. Great, it was our pleasure. Huh? You already helped Batsubatsu. But Batsubatsu bad no pine. Batsubatsu just want to give you the thank you present. But now Batsubatsu know that he just caused trouble for you. Next time Batsubatsu tell Garugu before going anywhere. I cannot get flowers so found other present as well. This present for helping Batsu Batsu. Thank you so much. Electra plus three, that's great for Charla. Valuable friends. And with that, we have earned a two star ranking in the Colony Six area. Wow. We were introduced to it today and got to rank two just like that. How cool is that, huh? Okay, that's just about it. That Xenoblade Chronicles for today. Gonna be chilling with Batu Batu, I suppose. All right, guys. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for being patient with me on this one, and I'll uh, catch you later. <laughs>